Alright, I think we are live now with the horseplay pregame. February 27th. So, yeah, Word. He died quickly, so it wasn't a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought I'd just wrap up my story. S spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler! One Mississippi, two Mississippi. So this is episode 11, Night of the Zombie Geeks. What is it? Ten, yeah. One. Part two of our zombie talk series. And we're just gonna pre-game it here while I wait for Sean to put more steam and more uh, coal in his computer. Crank it up. Some, some dime <laughs> today. Is he feeding the quarters? Is he feeding Gosh. the quarters into the slot? Let's make sure we ask him about his superior Apple products when he gets into the chair. Yeah. <laughs> An Apple. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll let I'll let you take the point on that, Matt. Because I'm usually the, I'm usually oh, the I Apple know. troll. I will yeah. lead the way, guys. I will lead the way. By the way, I'm on an iMac right now too, but mine works. <laughs> uh, one minute. So sorry. Uh, loading Skype now. There we go. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Notes. What's that? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Did you notice? What? 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 I don't hey, want to jinx shut it. Your hole. But the bit. <laughs> you already know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't say hey, it. I don't want to take it. Shut up. You, you, already, you already knew what I was going to say. I already knew what you were going to say. <laughs> Just shut your mouth. It's like we're live from Normie's <laughs> kitchen right now. Yes, we are. I'm trying to eventually <laughs> turn my other room something. into a... Uh... Into uh, uh, <laughs> let me what? let me just check that there's that like... didn't sound right after I said it. No. <laughs> okay, good. It's just bread and chips and everything up there. Nothing like incriminating. No, no, no pipe in the back. No, no, no <laughs> fucking <laughs> bottles of vodka lined up. No, that's <laughs> that's in front. Of like a mirror with lines. It's on the shit. other side of the camera. Thank you. Exactly. All right, there's <laughs> Normie. All right. Darn it, we won't have enough time for me to get more coffee. Don't! Uh, Too late. Yeah, go ahead. I don't need your ass. I mean, yeah, I mean, wait. I'm sorry. We all need Yogi's ass. You have 30 seconds. We all need Yogi's ass. Okay. How, about the, how about the rest so... of me? I have other good parts. Other good bits. <laughs> you want to play, big boy? Do you like popsicles? That's what they need to do. They need to make zombies that, like, go for the meatiest part on pe parts on people, you know? Like, the booty. Yes. Be a smart zone like that. Oh, yeah. your camera just messed up again. No, I just tried to switch. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all Failure. good. Failure. No, it's Failure. not. Failure. Uh, just, uh, I'm playing Fail. around with Fail. Uh, Fail. Fail. Uh, look, I'm back. See? <laughs> Fail. 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 No, <laughs> it's, you've already failed. That was weird because all I saw was. Failed. I saw a blank window flashing. <laughs> all Welcome right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn. Oh shit! What did I just do? Badass man. Oh snap! Guess what I saw? What? Mm -hmm. It was my girlfriend with blah blah blah. I can't remember the rest of the line from Bismarcky. Sorry. Did <laughs> you, you say he's just a friend? Oh uh. Oh, Sean says call now. By the way. Oh baby, oh, baby you, you got what I need. You got what I need. Oh, sad. Oh, he's making an entrance, this guy. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, man. Sorry. Man, that, my, when you guys my, are ready, I'll continue. How's your Apple computer there doing, Sean? <laughs> yeah, I... I what happened? I just shut it down. I hit, I hit the power strip and just shut it right down. Yeah, they don't recover well, do they? No. <laughs> Not versatile to handle today's. Hey, my, my Mac's like five years old. It's still good, but. Yeah, that's great. I shouldn't have shut it down like that. Then it, I had to do an update. So let, let me get in. It's flickering like a horror video going on there. Where? <laughs> Well, your your thingy, I'm pointing to you like you can see it, but your screen is uh, flickering. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah, I thought she had some kind of like rave going on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Are you doing anything right now? Normie's Normie's oh, doing can. the horror effect. Hey, Obi, uh, do we have the intro music going yet? What did I do? Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's just like. 
thought she was muted or something. It's just like oh, hold on one second. Let, let me get in the quiet room. over there. So what's the website? Uh, Twitch dot TV backslash ob one x two. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Uh, but I can it. copy and post it in Skype real quick. Oh. Oh, I think I'm almost there. Hello, everyone. Is everybody in the show notes? Show oh, notes. I see Normie in here. I'm here. Hey, Matt's I'm... all dressed up. Right. For, <laughs> were... for you, buddy. I heard you were going to be on the that. show. And oh, I, I told him. I told him uh, he was looking mighty dapper. I'm going to pop the collar tonight. Like my preppy roots, dude. The, the last the last horse play was six minutes long. Yeah, <laughs> the, I don't know what happened. Uh, I, t I I emailed them about it. It's it's pulling like an incomplete thing from my feed, but the feed itself is fine. <clears throat> I was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. <laughs> What's up, Ob? What's going on, man? He's he's tinkering. Oh, you were saying he was tinkling. I'm like, what? It's not tink tinkering. <laughs> I'm like, oh. All right, so we're Obi's gonna let us know when he starts the intro music, and then he'll count us down. So look for the look for the gang signs. I'm I got like five minutes still, so cool. I gotta get all these cameras done up. It's for the right people online. Oh, we don't need Sean. He doesn't have a camera. <laughs> Still, when he comes in the call, every everybody's camera got switched. To All right, yeah. Holding us up, Sean. Oh, oh, Sean. Sean. I apologize. Sean, Sean's <laughs> tomorrow, over. Off work tomorrow. Oh, oh sweet. I gotta get up early tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Like, I gotta be up by six thirty. I got a lot of good feelings. What? Well, I'll be right back. I'm gonna more coffee. You've been checking out my teeth. What do you mean I got good feelings? <laughs> What? No, I, I said I said I have good feelings. Oh, feelings. Yes. But uh, <laughs> is it doctor stuff tomorrow? Or? What was that? Is it no. doctor stuff tomorrow? Tomorrow is actually I have to get back in the groove of driving my kid to school because next week oh. I'll be home alone now. So after three months, I will oh, no longer I have help. Mm -hmm. Chipping down my basement. <laughs> you don't know what I'm capable of, young man. Oh my! I can even take you down in the basement and give you some popsicles. <laughs> what does it say my name is in chat? I don't know. You have to write, and I will could let Skank you know. Skankboy USA. I did. Oh. I said hello, hi. Oh. We don't see you in chat though. Are you oh. sure you're at the right channel? Can you see this? I just said patient. Oh, oh, I had to sign in. Just ignore me. <laughs> All right, now we gotta get. <clears throat> Free man. Diddy. Pimp sauce. Pimp sauce? Yes. Wah, wah, wah. He's my free man pimp sauce. That's all I can say. <laughs> mm. I like me a pimp sauce. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm an anarchist. I'm an anarchist. Sounds like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's cr it's creepy. Yeah. Oh, hmm. there you are, Freeman. Whoa. Oh. That's a monitor. Hey. All right. Tell me. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, daddy. Oh, yo. Oh, I wanna be. Can you hear me good? Yes, sure. sir. We can hear you. If you can't hear me, I can help you figure it out. You heard it. What he said. I hear you. Mm. <clears throat> All right. We're. I guess <laughs> he's in. He's already still recording on us, so we're getting ready to start here in a second. I'm getting Mr. Freeman, the pimp daddy. Excuse me. So. Yeah. Even though he can only afford a, a picture of himself and not a camera. Cops come and try to snatch my crops. These pigs want to blow my house down. Is that Word up. House Word of Pain? Up. It sounds like it, right? Dude, I was like, what? what Cypress Hill. Cypress oh, Hill Cypress, Cypress Hill. Hill. Yeah, that's right. Cypress Hill. There you go. Insane in the All right, Actually, guys.
Actually, I'm checking everybody's, everybody's checking everybody's checking everybody. You're good, 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 good. Sorry. Good, 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 good. Do 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 cover. Do 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 do. What? No. Oh. No. Oh. Why? Why? Yeah. Walked around my good intentions, <laughs> found there were none. I love that song. Hello. Okay. Intro screen now. I, dude, I couldn't get that freaking... Um, um, I actually have it. I'm actually getting it right now. Give me two seconds. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> 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 You guys are killing me here. <laughs> Stabs. All I know is the coffee gods were in my favorite. Could we have enough time for me to get another cup? Nice. Yo, yo, yo. Stars aligned. It did. They did. What's your cup say, dude? It's a uh, Doctor Who mug. Hey, what's that one called? It stabs. It did. Th this TARDIS disappears, yeah. and then it appears on this side. He's not it's beautiful. I love Some it. Oh, decided check this out. There you go. I like yours. Oh. I, yours, Matt, is awesome. Let me see right. Matt. I like that. All right. All right. It's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dude, my, my mic is so big. And welcome back. This is another episode of Horseplay right here, right now. And of course, I don't even read the show notes when I actually start the show. <laughs> Normie's still mouthing her what she's saying. We have a whole... I want to use the word plethora because that just sounds like a really smart word today. Can't use it after whole. Normie, I can, a whole plethora. Yes, you can. Oh, I can it's talk now? A whole, whole, whole bunch of people. It's like a whole plethora whole would you can't Welcome to you episode plethora. 11 Night of the Zombie Geeks <laughs> part 2. And we have back with us Maddo McFly. This is all our uh, we all have Twitters as well. You guys can catch us right here. And then right next to him we have Normie at Normie477, Freeman Daddy 5, Mr. Pimp himself at Ooh. Freeman Daddy 5. And Yogi Zilla right down on the bottom at Yogi Zilla. And of course, right here at Obi-1X2. Welcome to Horseplay. And um, hey, guys, what's going on? Hello, Obi. Welcome back. A fine night it is tonight to talk. <laughs> that, Matt, yeah. totally. Matt was already trying to get a head start on derailing us again. <laughs> nope. He was. And I was just like, I'm not even going to have it today. I'm just going to just push it out of the way. What's on the docket for tonight, good sir? He's trying to be a stupid idiot about grammar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not grammar? even mad. I'm not even. I ain't even mad. I have a whole plethora of love for you guys, so I can't wait. I ain't even mad, man. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about zombies again, just because we want to. Uh, Somebody's having a. Pooping problem? Maybe constipated. <laughs> constipated zombie right Const there. Constipated zombie. Uh, I can't poop. Uh. Obi, we're excited to talk The Walking Dead with you this week. We're glad to Dude, again. Oh, again, Freeman. Again, you're back. Now, yes, I want to know, are you going to have some more interesting things to say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Obi's having some chair guys, problems over there. So you guys are listening. So you guys are just listening. No, I'm not. Let me finish that thought. I went just down with my seat on accident. 
not interesting to say as in more. Oh, okay. Okay, but we're going to try to get without the derailing because I can derail us enough, and Yogi, I have to keep him curbed. Um, <laughs> you guys are just, you. I, I got three of you guys here now. I don't know about Normie. I, she's only been on the show once. And she's trying to spell out something to somebody. So whoever's watching, if she, if you're watching actually, and just S and, and if you're just actually listening right now, she's actually spelling out, you know, in sign language with her fingers what she's trying to say. <laughs> I'm saying that you're SOL if you're the oh. one that could keep us in track, and there's four of us that are gonna derail you. <laughs> Got it. We'll start with Matt. What's going on, man? How you been doing last week? Been thinking about some more zombies. I've been catching up. Ooh. I have two. You've been catching up in The Walking Dead. I have. Oh, that's, that's great to hear. Cause you know, last week we tried getting into it. I felt bad because I was giving away some stuff. But uh, I'm excited now because you're caught up. I am. I will tell you here in a minute, and I will get it from everybody. Okay. So, what you been up to, man? What am I been up to? Ah, uh, nothing. Not not much. I've been up to this podcast. Do another podcast, uh, working my ass off and surviving. If you if you see, we actually the main artery coming out of Barry, which is where I live, had a huge like hundred car pileup today. So everyone was kind of Ooh. told just to stay home because well, it's a whiteout right now. It's it's basically everyone just stay home and don't go outside and don't travel. So it's been like that for a few days. So that's my life is getting cabin feverish and then coming on podcasts and derailing the shit out of. <laughs> of course, that's what <laughs> whoa. You do. <laughs> and welcome back, sir. Welcome it's, back. It's Normie, how are you, you doing, darling? Welcome we're, we're back. Okay. What have you been doing the last... I'm doing good. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> uh-oh, what did I miss? No, Matt... The last couple weeks, sir. <laughs> Matt's being bad boy. <laughs> You're going to have plenty of time to talk. I shame, guarantee shame. it. Because I have some good stuff for you this week. <laughs> Normie, what have you been doing this this uh, last oh, couple weeks since we've seen you last time? Um, I don't know, just healing and what? <laughs> what did he say? Anyways, and kind of upset because we just got the news. Oh, now What's I'm wrong? still here. Can you hear me? I can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Because yeah, yeah, you guys fine. are looking at each other. I'm like, what's she saying? <laughs> oh, so it's we just kind of got the news that we're getting of a man named Brady. Eight to ten inches more of snow. Next oh, week. You, you like eight uh, enemies. Yeah, that's a lot of snow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a lot of snow. That's a dangerous amount of snow. Guys, I'm being serious here. What? Uh, okay, Matt. What's up, man? Are, are you on uppers tonight? <laughs> I think John Jacobson is rubbing off on you. He's usually the king of derailing, and now you're yeah. like, you're devious. This is what you get past 11 o'clock is... <laughs> Is delirious, kind of should be on a couch not talking to anybody, Matt. <laughs> Whoa, we're happy to have you, man. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm sorry. I will slow my roll. Normie, <laughs> no, you're dude, getting you're eight to good. <laughs> you guys are great. Normie, getting 8 to 10 inches. How does it feel? Is it... <laughs> I've asked about a star! <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm sorry. <laughs> Same as Joel, I guess. Whoa. Hey, now. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm just going to sip my coffee now. Me too. For those, for those that are just listening on this, you guys have to catch out the live <laughs> show. It is so funny. And if you guys were not even, I haven't been talking because I can't. Because I've been laughing so hard. <laughs> okay. Freeman, how you doing, been doing, buddy? She's getting, I've got 8 to 10 inches. <laughs> you got a dipper on the air here, folks. Yep, yep, yep. I've been doing good. I've been doing good this week. You know, uh, usually I work uh, four days a week. Uh, we've been working a lot of overtime. Usually I work Monday through Thursday. So, you know, we're back on that schedule this week. So I actually have tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday off. So, you know, I've really been just preparing for a nice weekend. It's supposed to be like in the, like, 72 degrees here Sunday. But, uh, you know, just us, you know, it's been a busy week with Zombie Cash. You know, we, we've got a lot of promising things coming up. And, it, you know, it's been it's been good for us in the zombie industry uh, as Zombie Cash grows, man. But uh, it's it's been a really sweet week for Zombie Cash. You know, I've just been giddy about some things. 
It's exciting times, Bree, man. It is. Word. Absolutely. And we got the full zombie cast minus Tedekin, so it's pretty cool to have a whole crew here tonight. Yeah, Tedekin is awesome, too. He rounds us out. He does. Although, it would, we'd be full-on derail mode if Tedekin was here as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, we're, last week was bad. We're, at capa we're at capacity right now. I think we say, I say we say gonna, that. My wife's going to get up for work at 6, and we're still going to be, you guys are stupid. <laughs> what the, you guys are stupid. <laughs> Why do you do this? What are you doing? You went skating today. That's awesome. Hey, and, and, and I hope, Matt, sorry, guys. Um, no and I hope, um, Freeman, that I, I have, I'd still love to come on some Sunday night to, uh, to um, the zombie cast just because. That means I could say that I've been on a different podcast besides my own. Yeah, that would be knuckleballer on Sundays. Oh, well, son well, I don't. Well, month Sunday and Monday. How's that? Knuckleballer and then Zombiecast. Two first. Yeah, yeah, we definitely got to do it. You know, me and uh, me and Norma, we both do Knuckleballer and Zombiecast, and Matt uh, joins us for Zombiecast. But yeah, dude, you're you're always welcome to join us, man, at any time. And uh, derailing is a a thing that really you can't do on knuckleball because it's uh it's a derailed show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I and think if everybody go ahead. If if Obi and I come together, we'll find a way to derail it. <laughs> there you go. And, and I it, it as everybody's listening to yes, I just invited myself to their podcasts, um, but it went well. So hopefully, <laughs> if I do that to somebody else, it doesn't bite me in the ass or anything. But anyway, uh, Sean's always welcoming, and uh, it's it's always a good crew. <clears throat> Monday nights are fun, aren't they, guys? They, they are. are. Oh, yeah. I don't know how we get Monday night a blast. Yogi, what you been doing, pimping? <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, caught an episode. You got any good new news? Tell it today. He's, smi he's smiling with TV eyes again. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. He looks like a devil right there. He's like Jeez, shiny. Eyes. There they are. <laughs> Square eyes. They're glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I, just re I just realized something that. The Walking Dead season four is following our uh, enumeration because we just, they're up to episode eleven. We're up to episode eleven. Meant to be nice. Whoa, that just blew my mind. I can't even say anything after that. Well, what is Obi? <laughs> right? What? Yeah, what's what, Obi been, what's up, been to? up to? Oh, no, what, no, no. What episode? Oh, well, I think we're gonna get to that later. I, I think he's holding off on that till we get to the Walking Dead talk. But uh. So yeah, uh, let's see what's been going on. I've been I've been uh, wrestling with the flu because everybody in my house is getting sick, and then uh, my kids like invite friends over, and one of them's like coughing his lungs off. He's like, <laughs> and I swear he's dying from like the the plague or something. <laughs> it's like something straight out of The Walking Dead, and I'm like, why are you inviting people that are sick to the house? I, I would mean, straight up tell that kid, take your ass home. Yeah, so I've been like, just like that. Like yeah, I didn't want to be ugly, but you know, like the past. Like two or three days, I've been like really lethargic, and I'm like, oh, I hate feeling like this, and I'm just trying to. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna rest up, you know, get, get lots of rest, get drink my fluids and all that good stuff that the doctors tell you, and then I'll be ready for horseplay. That's pretty much it. Good job, buddy. <laughs> you believe in the flu shot? No, I think it Don't makes. You, it? I think it makes you more sick good. than it. That it. Uh... Oh wait, are we gonna get a cons conspiracy no theories way. here? I love the flu shot. Well, no, I don't believe in the flu shot either. Uh oh. I've never an... had it, and it's I don't plan serious. to. Do you think it tracks oh, you for DNA for alien pickup or something like that? <laughs> no, it's the flu is a virus. It's not a bacteria, so it's constantly mutating. So the you know doctors are, are and scientists are only guessing what the strand is going to be, and your body changes the strand itself. So if it's but... not one hundred percent guaranteed, I'm not going to get the flu shot. The flu. Then I'm not going to take it because guess what? Not. Knowing my body, I'll probably get the flu with that stupid strand the flu on my body. So. Ripped through our house like a tornado. <laughs> and we're, we're left wondering, like, well, we, we got it. So we're left wondering next season, we might as well just try a flu shot. It, you know, it might, it might safeguard us next time around because honestly, it took us out of commission for a week. First Mariana, then myself, and then uh, Xander started getting all crazy. So uh, I do, no, I def definitely understand what you're saying. I just, we were, we're wondering, like, you know what? Even if it doesn't work, at least it might help. Except well, for alien do you, DNA tracking stuff. Do you guys think... <laughs> and, and let me tell you, it's funny that you say that, but my wife believes that stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure no one is listening. She's but, right uh, 
<laughs> but do you guys feel like <laughs> look at Matt's crazy? <laughs> Stuck at himself. But uh, talk her down. Do you guys do you guys feel like uh the, the you believe like the whole hand sanitizer thing is kind of uh pointless? Like some people feel like if you use too much hand sanitizer, you're breeding super germs or whatever, super bacteria. I believe there's truth to the theory that like you need a certain amount of bacteria on your hand, and if you're too obsessive about that stuff, you're not you're gonna destroy your ability to create natural immunities and you know have the ability to protect yourself. So My I don't friend know. Is people, like that. Yeah, the people who carry it around like every single time they touch something, every single time they touch something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's definitely like a little obsessive, but you no know, hospitals. You got my do friends' it. kids like like fall and get sick all the, or not fall and get sick, but they get sick all the time because she's constantly uh, sanitizing them. So any like anything that's going around, they get it like tenfold because their body's completely not immune to just regular germs that are out there. I think we had this conversation before. I'm getting some deja vu. I, I swear that we had a conversation yes. about how kids yes. need to be dirty to a degree. We did because it... it was the last time she was on our show. Was it? <laughs> Gosh. Yes, it was. It was. <laughs> That's how you know we're parents. <laughs> well, we do want to do it if you guys are new to horseplay. We are live every Thursday, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on this channel, Obi-Wan X2. Um, but we do have some... Now, possibly here in the near future, we're going to be actually uh, consolidating some of our social medias. Um, social medias, yeah, social media, <laughs> um, and actually creating maybe a, a, uh, a, maybe possibly a different stream where, you know, we just haven't decided yet. But as of right now, it's going to stay right here. And we do want to make sure that we, uh, that we do appreciate everybody's support. We also hang out um, in channel allgames.com. And uh, we just want to give some, uh, oh, I'm sorry, rrc.gamesurge.net. Come on by and let us know. Uh, let the gang know on horse. Wow, I'm reading this all wrong. And I'm reading a script. That's funny. <laughs> Come on by and let us know the gang at horse place sent you. Okay, let, let them know. He wrote it wrong. That's why I'm reading it wrong. <laughs> let them know that we sent you guys to mention us. Under the bus. <laughs> exactly. Go, 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 you know? I wrote it right. Shout outs to, <laughs> we do want to give shout outs to Tim Curtis, <laughs> thing, Opti James, Tim. Fortengard. Did I say that right? Yep. And uh, Jake and the rest of the gang. We do appreciate the support from uh, all those guys as well. Don't yes. forget to tweet us. Uh, we do have our, our our Twitters right here, um, right under everybody's is right underneath their face actually, um, throughout the show and any time that even when we're not on the show. So, uh, but at least, last but not least, we do want to say, um, you guys make sure you guys go hit up uh, Geeky Antics Network Global, and it's a uh, gang for short. Um, it is in full effect. It is uh, uh, Yogi's baby. Uh, it's it's ours, but it's it's Yogi's baby. We guys really we really want you guys to uh, uh, come on and hang out with us and just and just get going because we just we love to talk. As you guys can see, I'm talking like a freaking Woman on. What? He's not in. Oh, yeah. On what, Obi? <laughs> nothing. I'll finish nothing. that sentence, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. A woman on. Yeah, Normie wants to know. <clears throat> a woman on what? On a bed of lettuce. Several on cups of coffee. On roller skates. On. <laughs> high on I'm... life. Yeah. A on woman. On a high on a trampoline? On a okay, job hey, I'm, for a not, high hey, job. I'm not getting teamed up down here. No, stop. <laughs> no. On the right track to financial security. You know what? Yes, that's a good one. Yeah. Matt, you know what? You just need to just hit Alt F4 okay. and then just reinstall Windows. I don't have Windows. <laughs> I'm on a Mac. Oh, yeah. Anna, Anna, Anna. <laughs> That's what I said. It. Listen to what I just said. Oh. <laughs> on an Apple, it's something more like. Are you on a Mac? On a Mac, Mac it's squiggly line Apple and. You on a Mac? <laughs> yeah, it's Sean. You know I'm on a Mac. I use iMac all the time. Oh wait, here's an F4. What's it? What does this do? Your man. Oh, it's cha you just oh. changed the brightness or something. Oh, look at that. I miss the old days of of gaming on a PC when you would tell someone, "Hey, if you want to activate the cheats, press Alt F4," and people would do it. And you see everybody get disconnected from the server. <laughs> That's that's horrible. 
I used to do this shit all the time. It's funnier than hell, though. Sorry. I mean, you get people that actually do it and say, you know, hey, man, I got a good add-on for you when we're playing WoW. Well. Hit Alt F4. I totally and install Windows and then go to this place right here. And they'd sit there, like, for a day and a half. Like, I have to reinstall Windows like you told me to, and it won't work. <laughs> You're an idiot. Obi, what's on your cap? <laughs> Mazel tough. It's Eeyore. <laughs> We're talking about he's the world's first famous emo. The pimp daddy himself. <laughs> well, you Riffa. know. I like it when you call me Big Papa. Yeah, more of that. <laughs> what? 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 Gosh, you didn't even finish. I noticed our show makes uh, Normie dance, so that's good. That's good. That means she's in the mood. <laughs> I'm, I'm high. As I'm high? I'm not high. I'd be sleeping if I were. Anyways. How dare you say that? I'm with you there, Matt. I'm I'm with you. I hear I hear you, brother. I hear you. It would be functional if that were the case. I'd be I'd the honestly in weird nighttime mode. We like it though. It's horseplay, so it's appropriate. There you go. You're getting a different side. It's, it's the dopeness. It's the dopeness, yo. The dopeness, yo. So oh, this is. Trying to snatch I find my hookah pipe. Would you guys want to see my Egyptian hookah pipe? Yes. Okay, sure while, while Matt grabs his uh, hookah pipe, we have, a, we have a chalice pipe here that, that we bought in Jamaica. Yeah. And, and the bowl on it is like about the size of a lemon. And you, you, you can put like half, half green in it and half uh, sage to open the lungs up. What do you mean Ch green? Green in it, well. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. This looks like something that Indiana Jones would find in like. There we go. Whoa! What this the heck? Half, this is half. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's, like, is that like a NASCAR trophy? This is the this is the top part. My buddy, <laughs> moved, <laughs> my buddy moved to Australia. It looks like the, like a crackhead Stanley he, he Cup. <laughs> crackhead Stanley <laughs> Cup. That's a great one. Wait, and here's the here's the base for it. Here's this ornate vase that you put on you the bottom. A, you got a base and everything. <laughs> Dude. Intricate. Yep. So I was pa we were moving my house last time and the movers found this and instantly they were like my best friend for the entire move. It was hilarious. <laughs> There's a lot of hookah shops. Here Why is that, Matt? Kind of, it's like flavored. I don't know. So. I use this I'm just for curious, uh, sage you know. and water. Yeah. Actually, I have, I haven't broken this out since I moved here. Sage and water. Well, I noticed the the hookah <laughs> so annoying. Hookah bars are, are growing in popularity because a lot of uh, states uh, or just ca counties and certain ki cities and states are uh, banning smoking indoors unless the business has a certain kind of, you know, thing. So, like, right. th a hookah bar is, like, one of the loopholes in a lot of places. Like, you may not be able to smoke in a bar, but you go to a hookah bar and it's all right because that's the it's function. It's weird. Yeah, it's a workaround. I don't know. Somehow that's, that's an exception. But anyway... So uh, yeah, let's kick off officially our Man Crushes and Geek Girls segment, where we're going to get to know our guests a little better. I mean, we had uh, you guys in previous episodes, but we're going to switch things up a little bit. And again, we want to thank you for joining us at this obscene hour. I know it's tough for, for the most normal people, but we're not normal here. We're, we're a little funny in the head. <laughs> so, <laughs> But, you know, welcome for, you know, to, the, to the Midnight Crew. You know, that's how we roll. Yeah. Normie loves playing roll with the hair. The homie. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> That's going to be the meme. I'm, I'm going to meme that. I'm going to make that into a vine, Norm. You got to be careful. Memed. <laughs> so, um, we might be switching to an earlier time uh, eventually, but I, I like this Midnight Crew thing. You know? Um, Forget the Breakfast Club. I miss like Fallon, though. <laughs> so, for those just, just oh, tuning me in, we, we have our friends and extended gang family here. Uh, Sean is the host of Knuckleballer Radio and ZombieCast, and we got Sean as well, uh, well, we said Sean already, we got Matt Bradford, we got Normie, is it Normie late or latte, because I know, I know, uh, latte, Sean always says latte, but he's just joking, Sean calls me latte, but it's Norm. I, I put it as Normie late, okay, just making sure, but so, basically, well, you mentioned earlier, her but latte, latte sounds kind of like French, it makes it, yeah, it makes it fancy. Hey. Add the double cherry, please. <laughs> so yeah, we basically got zombie cat. We got zombie cast minus Teddy Cam. We got knuckleballer radio mi minus Sodum. So it's pretty cool. Geo, Geo yeah. minus John and Michelle. <laughs> True, that too. 
Hey, I'm on page 67 of the notes. I haven't got to the... <laughs> We're on paragraph three, Sean. Follow, no. follow along. Hey, don't lie. I don't see your little icon on the top here. Paragraph three. Oh, we sure know if you're in the show notes. Intermission. Yeah, we know. We know if you're in the show notes. But so, yeah, for those that did not tune in on uh, episode 10... Which you should definitely check out once uh, we fix the little issue with it being six minutes for some reason. I don't, I don't, I don't know why we apologize for that, but it truncated the episode. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it truncated from two hours to six minutes. I'm like, what the heck? So I, I think I know what to do. I got to refresh. Uh, I think I got to delete the item from the feed and then re-upload it so that uh, Stitcher will pick it up properly. But, uh, you know, Matt has some interesting um, work that he does when he's not uh, derailing podcasts. <laughs> he works over at Games Radar. <laughs> And uh, Guinness World Records, uh, so that's yeah. pretty neat. Yeah, it's a fun uh, sign. That's that, that's the hobby part of what I do freelance. I do a lot of trade magazines and a lot of more kind of technical stuff. But that's certainly the stuff that keeps me going, that uh, the creative juices. So, if yeah. you can find the book in your local bookstore, it's the Gamers Edition. Look for my mug at the back there. And uh, yeah, how many hey, uh, years have you been doing it for? Uh, this will be my fourth. I just got uh, for phone of them. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing the fourth book. So. Yeah, Sweet. it's a lot of fun. What's that your? Send huh? me a cop. Oh. Yeah. I don't. I don't have it. You gotta buy one for Yogi first. <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> oh, I thought you had. I thought you had a whole stash of them like, hanging around. Now I feel oh. bad. <laughs> no, I just have. I've honestly not left the house in like three days. I honestly feel uh, like Matt doesn't even like us anymore. I, I know the feeling. Oh, you can't even give us a freaking book. I don't come have on. Books. I don't. I can... You don't read. Is that what you're saying? I read, but I don't have extra copies of my book. Just with I pictures, should. right? Well, the pictures are good. Let me here. You can look at my crotch while I look through the book. <laughs> I can't even find this year's book. Where is I'm it? To say it. Hey, I'm, on, going to. I'm on page ninety-eight. <laughs> Stop it, Sean. I still don't see. Well, well, well I'm Matt's... telling you, mine look like a balding man. My notes. <laughs> wow, are, Matt. Are these notes serious? Do we actually have notes? Yeah, I've shared them with yeah. you guys past the last episode and this episode. I shared. I shared it late today, though. How did this you is, share this? This is like... what happens. This is what happens when we just get online and just go for it. I don't. I honestly <laughs> do not know where these notes are. It's, a, it's on Google Docs. Yeah, yeah, Google Docs. Yeah, Google, Google Docs. Oh, yep. I don't go on Google Plus. No, no, no then you're stupid. No, you just go to to doc, docs <laughs> docs dot google dot com. Docs dot google dot com. Docs dot com. Docs dot google dot com. That's Google Drive. Google Drive. Just email me. Yeah, it should have emailed you on your uh, Gmail address. Why is Matt looking at his Uh huh. But anyway, uh, so that's what Matt. That's what Matt does. You know, and again, Sean is the the master man, mastermind of the Freeman Empire, the Freeman Kingdom. And then Normie, a lot of people don't know this. I want to share this. She, she's a, a, a voice actress. She's known for her sultry parts in several video games, including Mass Effect Absolutely. 3. Wow. I, should have been, I should have been in League of Legends. Because I Normie's can do in Annie. League of Legends? What? No, she said she's a voice actor. I should, I, should have been, I should have been Annie for League of Legends. Holy goddamn no. Look at these things. <laughs> Holy. That's what she said, I guess. <laughs> It's now look. Our, oh, if, if you dissect it, did. we have sections. The first section is to welcome our guests, so they oh. understand the format of the show. Then a pre-show okay. discussion for our brainstorming sessions. Then the All segments, I'm is, and then the topics. Sean and Matt, don't yeah. get any ideas because I am not going to be writing a novel like this every okay, so week. <laughs> Mine is short and simple. Not as good as real bacon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Canadian <laughs> bacon. <laughs> You cheated. So yeah, one of the questions I wanted to ask Matt is how does he feel about Canadian bacon? I don't. Is it called Canadian? It's called Canadian bacon, but is it ours? Because none of us eat that stuff. I know. I think it's it's, it's, it's a misnomer, isn't it? And it's, a, it's a huge misnomer. Canadian no one's eating like that. Me, um... Everyone loves real bacon. See, and they and they threw it your way to give you guys the crappy stuff. That's yeah, we sad. got blamed for Canadian bacon. That's that's bogus, man. <laughs> what are we cow up there? Cow bacon. Sean always asks if like we have stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they don't uh, even have cars, man. <laughs> we have moose, and then we eat our moose when we get to our destination. It's a very shoddy transportation system. Okay, I, I have. Moose. I, I do have one question, Yogi. 
Yeah, lay it on me. I'm on page 137. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you, buddy. I kid you. That wasn't a question. That was a statement. Are the strike through notes? Are we still doing those? Or is that just. I just struck them through, guy. I figured we're going to skip those. Oh. I thought we were going to do man crushes because I was going to talk about my man crush. Well, that's what we call it. That's what we call. That's the, bra you. That's the branding yeah. of, of our segment. Oh. You guys have man crushes you want to share? I mean, if you, you can. Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. Not just because it was the last name, but I'd, I'd love to go on a date with that man. Oh, Cumberbatch. That's, uh, oh, I don't know who that is. That's, that's uh, Sherlock, right? Sherlock. And uh, Khan in the new Star Trek movie. And Jack Bauer in 24. Kiefer Sutherland? Or uh, the character? Or like the character Jack Bauer. Yeah. He was pretty good in Mirrors. Did you see Mirrors? No. Oh, I saw Mirrors. That's the one, not to be stupid, but it's the one with the mirrors where it's like the parallel universe. Yes, and that was an awesome people. twist. Awesome twist that makes you really angry. The, the stuff at the end was kind of cool. I actually liked what they did at the end just for imagination's sake, but the movie was kind of poop. Well, hey, I'm going to ask you guys real quick then. This is, this is a good segue for that. <laughs> not a, this, is, well, this is not really zombies, but it's horror, so it's kind of related. But how do you guys feel about these three movies? I think they have some of the best uh, twists in horror. So Mirrors is one of them, uh, The Skeleton Key, and The Wicker Man. Thoughts? <laughs> The Wicker Man. Wicker Man, come on. Mouth. That's pretty. Wicker Man. Dude. The worst movie ever. A dude no. In punches women for ten minutes. That was... Dude, the Wicker Man has such a freaking gruesome <sighs> twist ending. Favorite. Maybe the first one was good, but the one with Nicolas Cage was god awful. The, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The way that ended, it, it, it gave me the heebie-jeebies. I was like, oh, that's messed up. I, re I respect your opinion. I, I, you've got good taste, so I'll take your word for it. Maybe I was in a weird mood when I saw it, but Nicolas Cage and The Wicker Man would just didn't do it for me. Shelby yeah. The Wicker Man. I, I don't know. Nick Cage, that's, an, that's, that's plenty to said right there. Yeah, that's... that's a... Yeah. So, so no one else has any thoughts on those? Damn. <laughs> I, I can't remember Skeleton Key, to be honest with you. I, I remember it was about... They were in what? They were in New Orleans. Yes, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was it was an atmospheric movie. I just can't remember what the the twist was at the end. Ah, uh, uh, yes, spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> spoiler! Me. Yeah, so uh, well, basically the the big the real twist though, <laughs> not yeah. this real twist about Skeleton and Tiki wasn't just that the bad guys won, but the fact that they would not have won if the skeptic did not turn into a believer. Because the whole time the skeptic was like, was like, oh, I don't believe in magic. There's no such thing. And then all this stuff started happening. She started believing in it. And then that's what they needed to make the magic work, the voodoo magic work. So that was like, whoa. So like, oof. Like Sinister has a pretty good twist too. I'm about bringing it up a lot. Sinister is a movie that... Mar okay, Sinister is one with the, the found movies, right? Where he watches the found movies and yes. the, like, snuff films. That is That creeped me the crap out because of the, the soundtrack to that movie. Like yeah. the weird, eclectic, like kids screaming and stuff. But that's yes. a movie, that's the only movie Marianne will refuse to watch again or even discuss. Like not even on a joking basis. Like it got to her for some reason. I just got goosebumps as you talk about it because I think with horror, you know, yeah. whether it's zombies or vampires, whatever, you have to have good, uh, good soundtrack. And when you have that minimalist soundtrack where it's just weird yes. amb ambiatic, ambiance, you know, sound, you know, atmospheric yeah. sounds. Oh. I looked up the soundtrack afterwards because it just it affected me so much. And I don't know if Freeman, Normie, Obi, if you've seen Sinister, you're, you know what I'm talking about. When he's watching the videos, yep. there's this weird like it's not even music. It's just like sounds set to like uh, I can't even describe it. But it is an actual German band that does the soundtrack for that. And hmm. I listen to some stuff, and it's the same stuff. So it's just let me just I'll look it up. Like same stuff in general, like with their music or. Yeah, it's just after. Or just, you know, throughout the whole soundtrack. Yeah. It, no, it's just, um, like like uh, Yogi said, it's very minimalist, but when it does kick in with the, the quote-unquote soundtrack, it's it's pretty haunting. Let me just, ah, what was the name of it? Don't pause on behalf of me. Oh, all right. Oliver? <laughs> so here, we'll, we'll keep it moving along, and then uh, Matt could, uh, could uh, chime in with that yes. answer there. Oh, you got it? A-G-H-A-S-T, a gas. So if you want to creep yourself out tonight... Go get a guest. Huh. Okay. Might check that out. Yes, I like that. So, all right. So, let's, let's set up uh, the, the stage here for the zombie talk so we can just jump right into it. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We still got a, a ton of stuff to talk about on uh, Walking Dead. 
But um, so guys, usually on Zombie Cast, you ask your guests to give a definition of zombies, what zombies mean to them. All right. Right. So right. I'm gonna put you guys on the spot and ask you guys what your definition is. Cool. Who should we start off with? Ob- who, who should we start off with first, Obi? Who do you think? <laughs> Spin the wheel. Bzing. Nori's <laughs> video froze. Oh, I didn't have to do me first. <laughs> you win. I don't know. Eight Woo! inches. You get dude first. <laughs> Eight to ten. Eight to Eight ten. ten. Alright, I'm in the Eight scale. To ten. <laughs> Lightweight. Um, okay. Lightweight. This, yeah. That's, yep. Anyways, so when I was asked this question when I was first on the show, I, I see zombies as like, you know, from Resident Evil zombies, ones that mutated from a virus and they're not just like, you know, people that turn like funky. There's like, they just turn into like these crazy monster looking things that are continuously mutating. So that, that is how I see a zombie, not your typical Romeo zombies. It's like a virus zombie, then. Correct. You know, like the T-virus. Yeah, exactly. Constant mutating zombie. So in order for a zombie to be a zombie, the origin has to be viral. Mm Mm-hmm. I like you. Correct. Smart man. But, you know, and not just, you know, viral would just, you know, just like whatever's in the air is is combining. But something that was, you know, done in a lab with a more sinister kind of feel towards it. Mmm. So that 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 brings us to that whole. Uh, it's, it's a pretty old debate that's been going on, especially since uh, Twenty Eight Days Later. You know, infected versus zombie, like this kind of a distinction there. But well, I, I don't think we'll get back into that. But that's interesting. Well, Matt Monk kind of shut the door on that and actually um, allowed there to be viral and um, the just return from the dead zombies. I can't remember his three rules, but they they kind of encapsulate all the zombies. What was it, Sean? Do you remember, guys? Matt Moak said there's three things a zombie needs to be. Uh, I can find it. Keep talking. I mean, yeah. I have it because I, I, uh, I, got, I got a form to that. Keep talking, yeah. fool. Yeah, I remember the criteria. I remember hearing the criteria. I don't remember all the the items. Yeah. But uh, um, I, I think one of the things he said was that they can't be fast moving or something. There. No, because he validated my choice, which are the uh, the 28 Days Later zombies, like the Rage zombies. Mm-hmm. Like that's my that's my preferred type of zombie. A zombie to me is like a, the scarier, the scarier. Like these things aren't just gonna shamble at you. They're gonna full out run for you because they're hungry. They they want to eat you. They want to attack. They just want to devour everything in their path. They're like they're just a strain, like a, a virus on humanity that just like pours through and just decimates it. And that's me. When I see zombies like that in movies, that's when I get scared. The, the slow zombies, I'm like. I'd, I'd like to think I'd be able to like avoid them and kill them. And the, the only thing about slow zombies, and Sean made this point, it's a smart point, is that it depends on you screwing up. Yeah. The zombies will only get you if you screw up and make bad decisions. And I'm going to tell you right now, you guys want to be with me, next to me, if we have a zombie apocalypse, because I will eat you alive. Well, no, you, you went quiet on that last part. You will what? Eat me alive? <laughs> eat you alive. <laughs> Why would we want to be with you in a zombie apocalypse? Did you say yes or no to being with you? Because that sounds like a definite no situation of being with Obi in a zombie apocalypse. No, he said he'll keep, keep. you alive. Oh, Here. keep. Oh, all right. All right. Oh. What I want you to do. You're going to drive um, a big good. oval track yeah, for like that's, 10 hours? That, and that's really mean. Avoid the zombies. Okay. You know what? <laughs> We're going to talk about... Uh, there's possible bands going out. <laughs> Are we going to turn left to get rid of the zombies? No. Right turn, Clyde. <laughs> so, what? Anyway. What? So, Matt, was that your definition that, uh, uh, you like the, and that's how you view true zombies? Yeah, absolutely. The 20 Days Later to me is the true zombie. Well, it's two different. Okay, that's two different questions. Um, what I prefer are the 28 Days Later zombies for an entertainment zombie. That's, that's a zombie I like to see. Um, when I think what an actual zombie is, I tend to skew classic. I tend to skew for the, um, the things that rise from the dead. Um, so what I think are the genuine, like, honest goodness zombies are those, but what I want and I love watching are the fast zombies. So take that as you will. How do you feel about uh, I Am Legend? Those... I don't think those are zombies. Interesting. 
Okay. No, those Why? are those because are... they're super intelligent. <clears throat> Well, no, I think it establishes in the movie and the books that those are just evolutions of mankind. And they're they're animals. <laughs> you okay there, Norman? Yeah, Sorry. but I am. Yeah. But I am legend. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. you heard that. <laughs> Sorry. But I am legend car. came down to where they actually. I just watched a movie the other day. They actually yeah. made it to where they were actually making the viewers believe that the zombies could actually think, and actually get smarter. Right. That's not what a zombie is to me, but I'll get to my answer here in a minute. Well, you know who the legend in that movie was? It was Will Smith. Yeah. yeah. He was He was the only, he was the different. He was the one, he was, he was, he the, was the one that was, well, he was the one right, that was, had, um, he had the blood. Uh, yes, yeah. there's a word for it. I'm thinking about but it. But he was also the monster because he immune. was the one. He like, had the immunity. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what the whole movie is about is that humanity has changed. Will Smith is a monster going out, capturing them, dissecting them, and experimenting them. They're doing nothing. They're they're living their own lives now as as a uh, new type of monster. But Will Smith is the legend that keeps coming out at night and capturing them and bringing them back to his lap. That's the whole point of that. Yeah, and to them, he's the monster. Yeah. So, so I have Nobody's the paper here. Like, yeah, whatever, but I can drink my Ewer mug right now. <laughs> so, so I have the paper here. They sent me. Uh, they sent yeah. me some swag today, and I've got a, a thing that I've got to frame. It's actually got his autograph at the bottom because he signs uh, each document for the Zombie Research Society. Right but, uh, but the three fundamental, fundamental principles of zombies is, one, a zombie is a relentless, aggressive human, a reanimated human corpse driven by a biological infection. Two, the zombie pandemic is coming. It, if it, if, uh, it's not a matter if, it's a matter when. And three enthusiastic debates about the zombies is essential to the survival of the human race. But uh, a zombie is a relentless, aggressive human, a reanimated human corpse driven by bi biological infection. So, you know, kind of is his that reanim Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I just can't see when you're about to talk because I'm, I'm just staring at a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you got to give it like a ding or something like that. You got to get like a bell like John. Ding. I think the part that trips me up is uh, reanimated corpse because what does that mean? To me, I think the rage zombie still works because I, I believe in my mind that the virus goes in and just erases what was there and reprograms it. So to me, that's a human corpse reanimated. So I think it still falls within that. Are we on the feature already? No, wait, we're, we're still uh, in the uh, geek girls uh, and man crushes. Okay, don't talk about this too much because I got some cool ass intro music for this segment. So don't, don't right, well, rain on my I, parade, Matt. What the heck? Yeah. I do. Is everybody ah. giving, let me give my definition yet. Yeah, Sean, right. it's Sean's turn now. I'm just Lay, lit on us. <laughs> my definition of a zombie is kind of like the Romero zombie. It's uh, the thrive for a zombie to eat. And, and, you know, as a human, a zombie, you know, you just fear the nick of the tooth. So it's it's straight up The Walking Dead, I guess, is, is my definition of a zombie. You know, Romero nailed it, but smart zombies I'm not so much for. But uh, I, I think 100% The Walking Dead is, is my definition of a zombie. Yeah. You know, and that's all they do. They fear the nick of that tooth. You know, one bite, one scratch of the tooth, you're infected. Is it though? I always wondered, and I, sorry, Obi, we might be getting into a bit of the feature right now. But I always wondered what happens when you get zombie blood on you? Because the tooth isn't like some magical, like, ejection needle. Right. Like you see in Walking Dead, people are getting covered in blood all the time. So wouldn't they, like, be instantly afraid if they had blood splatter on their face and they swallowed it? Yeah, if they have an like open sore or if they swallow, yeah. Also, the teeth, the biting, I think. Um, I actually have an article up on our on our on our site, uh, Geeky Antics, and we and it's actually a reblog from another site called a Zombie Blog, and I and I put my own thoughts on it. But they talk about the different types of uh, zombie attacks. Now, biting is actually not so scary if you think about it, because if they don't pierce the skin, then you technically you wouldn't get infected. But then again, there's a whole other aspect where if you're already infected and it's a matter of you don't want to die because then you come back as the undead. That's a whole other ball game. But biting, I mean, you know, there's only been so many movies and, or shows where they're smart and they put like something like 
really thick leather coats or magazines around their arms like they did in um, World War uh, Z. Or duct, duct tape. Or duct tape. I mean, duct tape fixes everything, so you would what think. About, absolutely. What about the fact that in The Walking Dead, it technically is a virus that's within everybody? Wouldn't that make it not a zombie? Wouldn't that just make it... I think it still is a zombie. The thing <clears throat> is, um, it's dormant within them until they die. But the only difference yeah. is in the the Walking Dead, you're more scared about dying because you don't want to come back as that crap. Yeah. So now you know, you, you, in that scenario, you're more worried about what's a uh, mortal wound, you know, or what will accelerate. You wouldn't want the red eyes. That's a good question. <laughs> I never asked. Fashionable. Yeah, the red eyes are pretty fashionable. Matt, so, yeah, who who was it? Uh, Big Tiny, Theodore Crane. Remember the prison gang? He got stabbed in the shoulder. With the, remember an arm had ripped off for something and he got stabbed with the bone. Mm -hmm. All right, That's guys. Right. But we have a couple of questions in the in the chat mm -hmm. real quick. Well, uh, <laughs> what, what did they say? Okay. I missed it. But uh, oh, well, okay. Well, this is the question right here. As Modius says, why don't the Walking Dead zombies decompose entirely? So we'll get into that in the next segment because we're gonna, we're gonna get deep into the Walking Dead. Uh, he had another question. <laughs> Freeman. What? What did I? <laughs> what did I miss? So, Sean, is that is that your whole? Uh, <laughs> you bastard. Is that your whole? Is that your whole definition, Sean? While you yeah, troll pretty, our chat? Yeah, pre yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm a fan of the grave diggers, but you know that's not in my definition. You know, it's just like an infection that uh, thrives the dead to to reanimate and, and just feed for hunger. Even though, you know, a lot of times w when it comes to zombies and definitions, and Mr. Matt Moak from Zombie Research Society, you know, talks about this. You know, he's in research and all from history's past. But, you know, a lot of times people laugh at people preparing for the zombie apocalypse or, or their definition of a zombie. What is a zombie? But then, you know, it, you've got things like the Black Plague, which took out one third of Europe. I mean, you know, it, it killed millions and millions of people. So, you know, you know, whether it be the cliche of zombie prep, but, you know, the preparation, man, you know, there's a lot of things out there, you know, when it comes to a definition of a zombie, whether it's a tornado tears your town up or like, you know, I mean, like the Black Plague, you know. So I, I think the, my definition of a zombie, realistically, you know, it could be, uh, be a lot of things. I think there's a lot of bad infections out there that could uh, destroy the world. Which would be worse, Yogi? What's to that? Have, which would be worse, to have an invisible infection like the Black Plague that you just catch and die mm. within a couple of days, or, or uh, uh, like the Walking Dead zombie infection? What do you think? I mean, would you rather have zombies or relive something that has happened like the Black Plague? I mean, obviously, when there's a chance of survival and it's a visible threat, I think I'd rather have that. Then wait, then have all my fate on in someone else's hands, you know, waiting for them to, you know, synthesize a, you know, a, a cure or whatever. So yeah, I'd rather have the zombies, though psychologically, obviously, the zombies is worse. But you know, you get you get a pandemic where you know a disease spreads, and there's no cure for it. That that would suck. <laughs> what was that movie that came out? It, it was a couple of years ago. Toward the the, the lady cheated. I think it was Gwyneth Paltrow, maybe cheated on her husband, and she got some infection, and it went viral. And people, oh, were having, contagion, wasn't that? Yeah, contagion. That's it. You know, and, and, <clears throat> you know that that could be the cliche of, of the apocalypse. You know, stuff like yeah. that could happen. It has. Well, before happened. we get before money. we get right before we get too deep into this, I do want to get this the the intro done and everything. And I know you guys want to talk about it because I do too. But I don't want to get. I have, we have a couple more questions actually in chat, and I want to wait till we start the segment. So, without further ado, last week, week ten, we did kick off the uh, zombie talk series, and um, we just didn't get enough talked about. So we're instead we're gonna jump right back into it right now. We'll be right back with this zombie talk in thirty seconds.
Okay. Let's get everybody a little bit excited and get some horror music in there. Welcome to Horseplay once again. This is Zombie Talk Time. We just started this last week, and we're going to finish it. And hell, we might not even finish it this week. We might need to have him come back another week. As Matt goes, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying we won't finish it. We won't finish it. Well, like we were talking about last week, feature of the day, without further ado, let's talk about The Walking Dead. We're on page I did get a chance. Two, right? um, I'm on 768 right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am way so behind. Um, I did do want to say that I did get a chance to catch up on The Walking Dead. Not entirely because I'm missing a couple of the... They didn't record on my DVR, but for the most part, I've been pissing my wife off lately because all I do is sit on my cell phone with my earphones and watch Walking Dead on, on uh, Netflix. Netflix. On a cell phone? Pissed her, yes. Oh, man, that's not the experience. You need, like, that's a, the you only way I could catch up, man. I don't have time to sit down for a couple hours at a time to watch two episodes. I don't have time. Have it in a corner busy, your... busy, busy. I know, but just you, you got to like it maybe on your computer while you're working i don't know what you do maybe are you a nascar driver you can have like a laptop on your passenger seat that's I'm playing gonna mute this noob. <laughs> anyway nascar driver god okay reason being that guys if you guys are just joining with us or just if you're listening and you're just hitting left in, turn. In, yeah left turn i was talking about in pre and in, in pre-show and i was just like hey did you guys watch daytona I mean, it's the. I don't watch. I'm not religious NASCAR fan. I'm not drinking beer and watching NASCAR. No, I, I like... drove on the little NASCAR ride in Disney World once. I think Does paint drawing was on that night. I caught that instead. <laughs> Sorry, Obi. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did watch the, I did watch the end of it after Knuckleball the Radio the other night. I think there was 10 laps left. And, 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 I, and I, I did said... watch this. I actually got to see, believe it or not. 40 left turns. Well, it was the water boiling season premiere, too, so that came right after paint drying. You only seen 40 left turns. <laughs> well, Daytona, they actually have a fifth. So. Oh, so 50. Ooh. I saw 50 left turns. <laughs> Poor Obi. <laughs> We're going to break him. We're going to break him. <laughs> so hey, Obi, I want to ask you one thing. Have you ever been sure. to a NASCAR race like me? I'm from North Carolina, so we, we have Charlotte Motor Speedway. You couldn't tell. Rock I got Amiga Michigan Park Motor Speedway them. here. But, uh, yeah, I've been to Charlotte a couple of times. And I got to say, you know, NASCAR, the whole cliche thing, I'm not a, a fan. But whenever you go to a NASCAR race, it's amazing seeing how fast 200 miles an hour is. I mean, whenever that you can't even see the cars when they get by. I mean, it's – it's nuts actually seeing this in person. I mean, you would swear that they had jets and rockets attached to these things, shooting them across the track. Am I, am I right? Have you ever yeah. been? Uh, I have. I have been. Yes. Very fun. Yep. A lot of fun. But what we are going to do is we are going to get back into The Walking Dead because I cut these guys off here a few minutes ago because I didn't want to get too deep into it because I had the cool music. So what we are going to do is we're going to get right back into it right now. And being the newbie in Walking Dead, um, my perspective is, okay, I need the guy's names again, okay? The, the husband that Carl. came back, okay? Rick. This car is Rick, okay? Rick. Carl is the, the kid, the boy. The kid. Sean is the douchebag friend. Shane. Um, Correct. Shane is the douchebag friend. Yeah, and who's the crazy? Who's the? Who's is that the, a, a Freudian slip right there or something? <laughs> no, I did that on purpose actually. I was just I was looking at that T-shirt again. So yeah. it's like, you know. um, and then who's the crazy dude? Rick. Shane. No. no. Rick. The governor. Which governor. one? The governor. Rick. The governor's no. crazy one. Um, the, yeah, the guy, the, the guy's brother that they left in the city. Oh, um, Daryl's oh, yeah. Daryl, I am officially Team Daryl. He is no, a Darryl's... crazy son of a bitch that will fucking shoot you in the head and don't care. Yes. Wait, no. Merle. Merle is the guy you're talking oh, about. Yes, he will shoot you in the head. Merle, Merle is yeah. the guy that got left. I like Daryl, the guy that freaking carries a freaking cross, bro, and says, oh, I don't dude, give I'm a damn, I'll shoot you in the face. Everyone's on okay? his team. Everyone's on Team Daryl. Shane's a fucking douchebag. Thank I can't you. stand that son of a bitch. Sorry, Thank guys. You. I'm, I'm swearing up a storm. I'm glad we're not on iHeartRadio. 
<laughs> but we, we, we just saw that Matt saw it at nighttime, but we saw that rooftop you know, where they filmed all that stuff. That was cool. Uh, yeah. Me and Matt uh, were in the West in Atlanta. And we, I was like on the 50th floor, 49th floor, and right, right beside the hotel where we were staying, you could look down and see the rooftop to where they filmed all the Walking Dead. It was, it was kind of neat to see. That's kind of. But cool, it's yeah. just yeah. <clears throat> but we'll we'll get into it right now. But um, Yogi, I'm gonna let you kind of lead this because I am the newbie in this. In this, so you're gonna you do your thing. Um, I know you got a bunch of points that you want to make sure that you point out. So, Yogi. All me. right. So spo- spoiler alert. So if it, you know if anyone's listening and they don't want any spoilers, you may want to skip the next 30, 40 minutes, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> yeah. Plug in my ears. We're gonna focus particularly on on uh, season four. 4.5, as I like to call it, episodes 9 through 11. Uh, but I think we'll also go back to some of the older stuff and the, the best moments to date. But uh, you mentioned Daryl, and uh, there's an interesting thing, a little bit of uh, speculation going around. You know, there's going to be, they confirm there's going to be a Daryl only episode. And some people are saying that it might be a setup for him or Beth to die. <gasps> no, Beth. Beth will die before Daryl. They're not. Uh, they're never gonna I kill so. Daryl. Yeah. Be yeah. But not... imagine, imagine. It, see, we said this last last time on episode uh, ten. You know, he's untouchable. But imagine if they just went completely, you know, Josh Whedon and just said, "We're gonna kill off a, a very important character." Boom. Done. Yeah. That's when they kill Rick. No, that Ooh. would be, that would, oh, no. that would take out the framework of the show, but. Daryl could go. He doesn't exist in the comics, and he was created just for the show. Yeah. Sorry, my, my cat's getting but, really frustrated. I know, dude. But, I'm watching that. It's like a it's tender really moment weird. here. <laughs> I am going to make sure I, I highlight that. just that. I I'm saw that. that the the <laughs> cat was was caressing his lip. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. What's his name? Wink. Sh- oh, hey. Sh- I think SG is in chat. Hey, SG. Hey, SG. Oh, Junk. Oh, what's up? All right. We nice. do have one question that I want to get to real quick. Yo, oh, yeah. I know you're what? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Go ahead. Um, we had a question in chat earlier, and I wanted to say it now. And these is for this is for everybody to give their two cents in. Um, where did it go? Son of a gun. Okay, yes. No, it's not. I'll put it. I got it. <laughs> Why don't the Walking Dead zombies decompose entirely or become huh. very sick? There's the question. Well, first of all, it would break the show on a purely technical basis. Having the zombies decompose would break the show. Like, what's the timeline we're in now? Like, how long has it been since the first episode? Are we talking a year and a half? Um, I think a couple there. years. Yeah, two, like two and a half two, years. Then. Was it two winters? I mean, the little girl is not old enough to walk on her own, and Lori was before Lori was even pregnant. So we know that at least nine months and a year have gone by. And they spent and they spent six months in the prison as well. Yeah, because we jumped ahead a lot when big mistake there. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think uh, on that, Matt? I don't know. I, what do you guys say? Personally, I think they should be decomposing hardcore, and I think they, re- they reflect that in some episodes. You see that. A lot of them, like, are just basically walking skeletons. But then you got people with, well, no, okay, well, that's the answer right there. People are getting turned every day, so you're gonna have a lot of fresh-faced zombies. For all we know, there could be a ton of decomposing zombies that have already passed. This is like the second yeah, but you generation. never ever see them though. You never ever see them in any episode. You don't see. I mean, you see them where they're like, yeah, you know, if it's been a a, in a group or something, I'm... or they just ate or whatever. You never ever see a decomposed zombie just walk around half, oh. you know. Bicycle Skin girl in the again. first episode was pretty decomposed, just mm. lying there on the grass. I don't know. They go both ways. Think... Like you never. The one he came back and shot in the head. <clears throat> yeah. It, that's because she had half a body. Well, it doesn't mean her face goes too. Like she looked pretty worse for wear. Yeah. So it's almost like they she usually. Bad. She could have looked like that in real life. Okay. <laughs> she could have been Poor having girl. a bad day. She didn't put her fucking makeup on. <laughs> That, is that was her Monday first night. mistake. That was <laughs> Normie. 
<laughs> Put your makeup on in the zombie apocalypse. Maybe, First maybe. First thing you do. That would be me. They do rarely show like a really decomposed zombie, so I'm maybe I'm apologizing for the show, but I'd, I'd like to think that it is because we're seeing a lot of freshly turned people. Right. What do you think? I think so, and I think the virus would be very slow mutating as well, as far as once they get into that, into that. You know what I mean? Because it takes them a while to kind of turn, but I think the just logic doesn't really exist with these beings. Considering that the only way to really kill them is to just, you know, directly, what, hit the hippocampus, whatever direct spot in the brain that they need. <laughs> or smush them through a fence. Um, yeah. You know, just, well, you know. It, there was a point made earlier, too, with, I think, Matt and, and Sean, you guys were talking about it with, if, you know, if you get a whole bunch of zombie blood on you, aren't they worried about getting sick or getting the virus or nothing? I don't think that's going to be a very, that would be a, a very good way to be able to get it. Mm -hmm. Um, just because with any zombie movie or anything, the zombie actually has to bite you or scratch you. There's never been nothing about zombie blood gets on you. You're going to get, a, you know, you're going to get yeah. infected. Well, that was Unless the rage. Unless you have an open sore. Um, I was the, thinking of the open sores. The, um, who was that? I think it was a different, it was in one of the Resident Evil movies where the guy had an open sore on his chest, and then he got zombie blood on him, <laughs> or you know, some kind of blood, and it got into his sore. And all. anyway, yeah. not gonna get on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Freeman, do you have any uh, two cents worth in that uh, question? No, I, I, I totally agree with everything that you said. It's just kind of a hard question, yeah. You know, when when it comes just to the Hollywood aspect of making, you know, making the show, it has to, you know. You got to make it where it works. Right. Well, and what we're going to do, guys, for those that are asking questions, we really do appreciate the questions, but we are going to leave the questions um, till the end. So then we can just get through this feature. We can talk about what we can talk about. And then right before these guys jump off or have to go, we'll open open the, you know, the chat to questions and as many questions as you want. And, of course, I have kind of a, a monkey wrench that I'm going to be throwing in today. Too. Nobody, I not even Yogi knows. It's not in the notes? <laughs> no, it's not, actually. If I control F monkey ranch, I won't find it? Nope. <laughs> nope. So, that being said, Yogi has Daryl gone derp. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the big question. Uh, Daryl's kind of gone. He looks like he's going down a path of Rick. He's becoming kind of, uh, I think he's Pretty doubting goody. himself. And the next thing is going to be like a blubbering, crying mess, you know? <laughs> I'm worried about him. I, I it, it seems like you know. I know episode nine. It's gonna be eh, like the old guy. Was it episode nine? No, episode ten really showed him a lot. But uh, basically, that where they have shown him, you know, Beth and Daryl together. It looks like uh, Daryl is really like doubting himself a lot. He's losing kind of hope. I, I I feel like the the kind of setting. That's why I'm worried that if he he's gonna have his own episode. They might be setting it up to kill him. I don't know. But he's, he seems like he's having doubts. And maybe Beth... Not, suddenly Beth is the chipper person. The person that was like suicidal not too long ago. All of a sudden she's like the one that's trying to encourage him. So it's an interesting... I think it's an interesting dynamic there. So I don't know. You guys think he's going derp? Or he's just having a low phase? You think he's going to get out of the funk? Or, or what? I don't know. From what I got from the last episode that they were together. You know, she did have this positive outlook. And he pretty much said... Nope. Everything, you know, any kind of faith that you had really doesn't exist. So it seemed like almost he's putting the doubt in her again. Ooh, so, yeah. You know, if I think if they continue this way, they're going to get messy because at this point, you know, if you have no hope, you really have no reason to live. So mm -hmm. I, I honestly think that, you know, Beth is going to probably be the next one to go. Yeah, Plus, you know, she was never in really any big battle scenes before. So it's not, you know, I'm I'm impressed with the stuff that she is doing because, you know, she was pretty much contained in the um, in the prison for most of the time. So but her skills, we... I'm, I'm assuming, are not that great. Well, can any of us name one pivotal moment in The Walking Dead that involved Beth? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like. Exactly. She's an emotional, I mean, emotionally she's attached to Maggie and Maggie's lost so much. So we feel bad for Maggie. But if, if Beth were to go, I'd kind of be like, uh, she was kind of cute, but <laughs> in terms of her utility to the show, not so much. Yeah, just a little cute. She didn't have any utility to the show. No, she doesn't. That's, yeah, I mean, she she just serves to be like, 
something to lose, I think. She's just an extra character that they can afford to lose. In my mind, she's a great actress. I'm not talking about her acting. Wait a minute. Well, but... Wait a minute. No, our, 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 our. Yeah, I'm RN because Yogi, keep, Yogi keeps freaking flip flopping the questions around and the, the <laughs> different valid. And I'm telling everybody what he's doing. And I hope you guys listen to this. Inside For those that are listening and watching it, yes. I'm looking at the show notes, which are right next to. She's got a note. That's her show notes. Um, I'm looking the... at the show notes. <laughs> meow. Yeah, oh, look, wait. She's saying meow. Meow. <laughs> now, we are, we already went over. Yeah, Yogi, I'm I'm lost again. Oh, well, wait. I moved I moved the stuff up because we already discussed this other stuff. Right, but okay. I. Oh wait a minute. Now, are Daryl and Beth going the wrong way on the tracks? I mean, are they going the wrong way about this? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you. I probably would stay so, on the tracks also. So, so, but, but listen, this is a spoiler. This is kind of a spoiler. If you guys notice, they're going the opposite direction. Again, spoiler! They're going the opposite direction on the tracks from where everyone else has gone, they're going in a different direction. And I had to rewatch it a few times. I think they are going the wrong direction. So I don't think they're going to end up in uh, Terminus, uh, Sanctuary, whatever you want to call it. So. Well, Sean and I have a little insight from when we went to um, went on a tour of the set. Remember, Sean? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. uh, so a little a little spoiler. I think I think we can talk about this because it's getting close. But obviously, spoiler: one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No, no, it's it's not that big. Of, don't punch me. Don't punch me. It's not that big of a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> what what we were told by an unnamed source is that no, don't punch me. Daryl and whoever he's with are gonna hook up with a militia of some sort. Ah, that was one of my predictions. Remember, I called that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I told you. No, we didn't. <laughs> Stop it. Great. Way, I don't have to watch man. the damn show anymore. Thanks, man. That's awesome. That, that was a source. <laughs> that was a source. Source. You just told me it was right because you've been at the set. Well, I mean, watch the show. Anybody else, Obi? I'm so mad right now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Spoiler my wife now. (laughs) (laughs) Guess what, baby? I have this this idea that maybe um, Daryl is gonna maybe hook up with some militia, but that's only a gut feeling. I don't know. (laughs) And you could surprise her and be like, "You're so amazing." Yeah, I'm gonna watch the show every day. Dude, I so got her. It was like episode six, okay? And I had already watched it. And I was, you know, because I went like one to ten all at once. I spent like four hours and went one to ten. And and she was watching it, and I was like, I'm already at ten. Or I'm at, I'm at six or five or whatever. So we watched five, and then we watched six. I said, man, I think, I bet this is going to happen. And it happened. And she's like, dude, oh, my God. Are you sure you didn't watch these? I swear, baby, I didn't watch nothing. And then in I'm seven, a prophet, baby. I'm a prophet. and exactly, and then in seven when they got out of that, um, was it six or seven when they got out of the uh, CDC? Yes. The uh, okay. When I was like, man, I th- I think they're gonna get out just in time, and then the thing's gonna blow up, and and then she sits there, and, the, and right as they're running outside, and they fall underneath the sand or in front of the <laughs> sandbags, and the thing blows up. She goes, "You've been watching this." I'm like, "I swear, God, I haven't watched." <laughs> I have I, you know, I'm at like 30 or, you know, total, I think 38 or whatever. Yeah. Um, and she's still at like 10. So, and I'm just telling her that I haven't watched any. So, so I'm just going to get throughout the whole movie, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It senses like they're going to, yeah. they're going to go for like some kind of safe haven. I don't <laughs> think this prison's going to last guys. I don't. <laughs> okay, this next this next part, and I'm picking my nose right on stream for those that are not watching. Yes, I was picking my nose. <laughs> we uh, should but... we should table this for Sean. <laughs> yes, okay. Sean. Oh no, yeah, Sean. Let, let this Sean is, weigh on us. This is this is your baby right here. <laughs> Babies <laughs> in the zombie apocalypse. Hope or nuisance? Ooh, uh, put him on the spot. Sean, this is your baby. Sean? Sean, I want you to answer that question while staring at my child. Aww, <laughs> that's unfair. <laughs> that's really bad, dude. He and brought I'm gonna out. The, I'm going to answer for it before him, and I'll just give him. He can elaborate. I'm going to say nuisance. What are they going to do? Well, Crawl? Well, I'm going to bite you with my teeth. Well, wait, I don't have any teeth. Oh, 
I don't oh, do anything about guys. either of you as a vampire, but Claudia was quite oh, the vampire. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh, now it's a, now it's a camera. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Sean, what do you say there, sir? Do you really think that's the nuisance, Obi? I, yep, think I think Sean he went on a bio a, break. Hey, I'm telling you right now, and I'm going to get a good picture of him. I'm going to get a really cute picture. You guys, Sean, do your thing. I want to know, do you think babies in zombie apocalypse would be hope? Which I don't really understand that, but or a nuisance. Uh, Yogi and I can speak to that. I think we're on the same page. That's yeah, I, I, yeah, we we talk, we beat this to to death uh, during the, I think the last couple episodes of Zombie Cast. I was in the chat agreeing with you because you know I think it's it's hope. Uh, you know you got to think it, it really to, it's not just about survival. Everybody gets stuck on the ass kicking and uh, the slaughtering of zombies, but if you don't start thinking about like getting back to normal uh. lifestyle. He looks innocent. I know he's evil, actually. <laughs> but, he's but, you, kid. <laughs> but listen, but listen, but listen. Yeah, I, you got to start thinking like you know, get into the mindset of of uh, repopulating the earth, you know, and and getting back to no, a normal lifestyle. So if you don't have that hope, some kind of like you know normalcy, some kind of hope alive, I, you might as well just give up right away. What's the point? If you just you got to ask yourself, why are you surviving? If it's just to kill children, I don't. <laughs> I don't think that's it. No, I don't. I don't agree with that. I think bringing children is a whole, whole another Pandora's box, because now you have to worry about feeding another mouth, doing the diaper thing. Not only that, but children are naturally curious. So you know, I my mom has always told me, and it's so true. If the kid is quiet go check what they're doing because that kid is getting into trouble. And sure enough, every time it got eerily quiet, my son was up to doing something that was not safe. So I think that brings um, a whole nother um, level to survival because now, you know, you have to protect them from these these evils that just <laughs> you did, that can't think. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. But I think that's, you know, that's just a whole nother thing. And then, you know, uh, oh gosh, Freeman. You know, and then you have to worry about the crying as well. You know, you cannot reason with a child, you know, until they're to a certain age. And even at certain ages, there's only so much information can give them for them to understand, to reason with. So I think children are, you know, a harder thing to do. I think once you get rid of the zombie scenario and that's out of the way, you know, you could be 70, then you can start repopulating the earth. But, you know... I don't think kids is a is a good idea. That's yeah, but part. but you're not gonna go to the extreme of like killing a baby or smothering it or something. Oh, no, right? I wouldn't do that. No, that I wouldn't do. But you know, you gotta take some precautions. No, oh, yeah, That's smart. All right, all right. I think no Sean's babies. dead. First of all, um, I'm, I'm alive. Sean. I am alive. I, I'm right, digging your phone like five times, Sean. <laughs> 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 Sean's been digging up. Um, Norma makes a lot of good points, but I think the clarifying question is. Babies are a nuisance, but they're essential. I think babies are a nuisance, but they're a nuisance that you have to put up with because if you're not allowing babies into this world, why are you living it? And I'm not saying that's the only purpose for human life, but if you're not yeah, trying but... to keep human beings going and, and repopulate, then what, what's the purpose of why, why don't you just throw yourself to the zombie horde? Yeah. Right. Well, but right now, I mean, at this yeah, point in time, even in even in The Walking Dead, as we as we see it right now, there would be no point. Even though it happens, there would be no point in having a baby and bringing it into that because then guess what? Just like Normie said, you have to watch out for it now. You have to now when you're supposed to be quiet because there's a what is a group of zombies? What do they call them? A yeah. herd. Yeah. A herd. yeah. When they when they see a herd of zombies and then they have to be quiet like in what uh, episode eight when they were all underneath the cars, I'm sorry mm -hmm. episode, yeah eight. Almost right? every episode, pretty much. When they well, it, it was uh, it was the episode where the little girl ran into the woods, and the two yes. zombies were chasing her through two. the woods where she got lost for oh, like three Sophie? days or whatever. Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sophia. Um. But like that when the, when you need to be quiet just to let that herd pass and then you got a little. Even all the way to a two-year-old. Yeah. No, that, no you, you, know? make, you make a good point. I mean, it, right now in their life right now, bringing a baby isn't good. If you have a baby, though, that it exists, whether unprotected sex or whatever, I guess that's the only way it would happen, um, <laughs> then 
<laughs> immaculate conception, then maybe what's what's your answer then? Do you do you get rid of the baby? Do you make a tough decision? Be like, we got to abandon this baby because it's going to jeopardize the group, or that's the tough now, choice. Now, okay, now, and you guys got to know, and I, and I'll explain myself if I need to. But yeah. the way I think, if I'm in that situation, and you guys are to think this too, if you're in that situation, okay, it's a zombie apocalypse. You don't have, I mean, you have the few cars that you can get a hold of, the few pieces of ammo, the clothes that you have to live in for months or years at a time because, you know, you only get one hot shower every other fucking day uh, or every other year. Um, would you... You'd have to ask yourself now, if I screwed up, of course, I'm going to be trying to get some, too. I don't give a damn. It's an apocalypse, but I'm still human. I'm still a dude, okay? Yeah. You might yeah. fall. When that shower, retire. when that, yeah, yeah, I might trip and fall. Damn. If it does happen, now, you might be somebody different that I could never do that because that's my child. Now, me, myself, and I, all three of us, yeah. something we, would, we, we, we would contemplate it. Um, it would be contemplated because you got to think about it. Do you want to be potentially wronged? I mean, or do you want to have your child? If it happened, if yeah. it were me and it was my decision, sorry. No. As soon as it comes out. Nope. No question. No question. Ah. I'm protecting that kid with my life. Sorry, I. Yeah, me too. Uh, At that, that was... point, I couldn't do it because, because then that to me totally then... defeats the purpose of life and death. You know what I mean? Like in a zombie apocalypse, you're protecting life, whether it be your own or somebody else's. You're still protecting a life. So at that point, that in my mind is the whole point of survival. Because then you got to well, extend they... that argument. Are you gonna Are you gonna throw mentally handicapped people under the bus? Are you gonna throw yes. people who can't walk the under the bus? The elderly. Then yep. at what point do you stop becoming human and you just become an animal like the zombies? And what's the value of humanity at that point? I already am one. So it really doesn't matter. <laughs> but you'll lose your... What makes you unique is, is your protection of the human species. That's what makes us unique is wanting to protect the human species. We lose that and just... Me and you are going to have to talk some time off stream. Not in the same room, I hope. No, you know what I mean. We have to talk I offline know. sometime. Yeah, but we will talk. It, it's not not that I'm a I'm just a no, <clears throat> selfish you're bastard very or anything. Realist. But it's it's, a very realist it's something that could. I mean, it, what? I mean, what if? I mean, you can what if every anything you want to death. But what if that happened? Now you could put it on that person, on those people. Now if me and the whoever I got with, we did that and we had, uh, you know, got pregnant or had a kid. You know, we're the dumbasses for doing it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to blame it on, you're going to let the kid take that punishment, though, for your mistake. It, Like I said, it would be a situation. Well, where now we're getting to a, a whole, situation. Like, well, yeah. no, you got to, no, now, hold on. Yeah. With what you guys have said, I, I understand that, you know, preserving life, it would be our fault if it did happen. If it did happen, it would be a situation. I mean, how many people are in the group? Is it just us two? Is If it's the group that is in The Walking, you know, the the main cast of The Walking Dead, then yes, I would have, we'd have more than just two or three people to look after the baby. Um, I mean, yes, that is new life. Yes, that's what we we're trying to accomplish, but yeah. I would have that's to make myself very, very clear that it would be, you know, if you're going to do it, I don't give a damn if you need to pull out in two seconds because you're a two-pump chomp. Pull the fuck out. Don't right. have a kid. You got to do, 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 do it. You got to do That I agree with. I understand with. people want to have <laughs> sex and people want to do that stuff because, of course, what right yeah. mind, unless you're, you know, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, we're not. let's get off. I'm going to sidetrack us anyway because we could talk about it forever. <laughs> it's a heavy debate, and it, it spills over into real-world debates. Um, My final I, answer would be I really wouldn't know really what I would do until it would yeah. be situational. I mean, if yeah. the baby came out and it was healthy per 10, 10 fingers, 10 toes, of course I would try to try to make sure I could keep it safe. But yeah. if it's already half, you know, you got to remember, too, all the other different possible defects. Half zombie, have. half human. You know, it's well, not even baby. that. Not even that. But, like, <laughs> um, you know, a child that comes out with, uh, you know, in real life, real life, uh, like now, like it comes out Down syndrome or it comes out, you know, you have to, those are the situations that you would have to put under advisement of what, 
you know, do we want to, you know, try this if it, it you know, because you can only, you can't, right, let's talk about this. It's tough. Else. It's tough. Because no, it's. I, I really don't know, I know. Yeah. what I would do, man. It's just. I don't think anyone does. We can all talk tough right now, and I can talk like, okay, altruistic. I'd save the baby no matter what, but, you know. Well, we need to get Yogi yeah. involved because he's uh, he's sitting there, and I can see through his 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 screen glasses. He's falling asleep, <laughs> so we need to get him talking. Yogi, what would you do? Up. You've Wake you've slipped up. and fallen into a vagina. Uh, baby <laughs> accidentally like, nutted all up in her. What would you, you have? accidentally would you fell have? in there? What is this, like the size of a football field or something? Well, well you know, know how women, you know, women... How do you accidentally Atlanta. fall in that's, that's, there? That's, yeah, but you know how you know how this saying goes when a woman, you know, when, uh, when you know you cheat on your, your husband, you know, the, the husband says, what, do you actually trip and fall on his dick? I accidentally fell on a rod. Sorry, honey. That's the same thing for a guy. I mean, would you actually just fall? You, you tripped and fell right saying. in... Right on top like, of her, and she so happened to have her pants off, and he's off and leg spread. Hmm. So what would you do, Yogi? That's this is not safe. Well, you know, I, cl <laughs> clearly uh, try to be, you know, I, I agree with, I see what Normie's saying. You know, I, I still feel that I, I'm going to stick by hope. Uh, the baby uh, baby in the apocalyptic, in a, apocalyptic situation being hope because, you know, it's kind of a, a symbolic of a genesis, a reestablishment of life, right? But obviously, you want to be, you know, take precautions and not try to try, avo avoid trying to have babies because, you know, it'll Get make things really hard. Before the others do. Back door, no babies. That should be the rule. Of <laughs> back, the, there you go. Back door. Back. There's other things you could do. I mean, back door is probably the most the most smart thing because I, see, I was gonna say it, but I, I'm glad you said it before me. But, you know, obviously the other approaches wouldn't work because I imagine people are not too fresh and no one's going to want to get that close to the junk. Oh, shit, yeah. So, so you know, that, that, that makes the most sense. And you can't All get right. pregnant that way. But, uh, anyway, moving on. Um, as babies. <laughs> as, as babies. Oh, look at Normie. Hi, Normie. <laughs> oh, she's hopping. Aw. Her legs. Uh, but, uh... So, like, yeah. Oh, hi, Normie. She's hot. <laughs> what? She's hopping. Hopping. She's hopping. She's, she's hopping, a bunny rabbit. But uh, so so we talked. We, I think we touched upon upon this last time uh, in episode ten. We talked about how uh, Lizzie is really showing her true colors, and I think many of us saw the writing on the wall. But now there's just no doubt that she's freaking batshit crazy, um, yep. tr trying to smother the baby, you know. And, and and Judith really needs to survive. And and you know I, again, I I look at Judith being alive as uh, hope. For everybody, and, and something that's gonna drive a lot of people. Once they get reunited, they're gonna see that she's alive. They're gonna be like, "We can still survive. We can still do this." It's gonna definitely up, you know, be uplifting to their spirits. But then on the flip side, as a narrative tool, it's gonna be great because it's obviously gonna create some some situations of high tension, you know. And and I think that's gonna be a great great thing for them to really uh, work into the plot tonight because you know they have nowhere to settle down settle down yet. Uh, right. But yeah, Lizzie's crazy, and uh... Lizzie's bad shit. And Sean is on Team Lizzie for some reason, for th for the reasons we discussed, because she wanted to silence. Uh, well, I think Obi's about to slip into a vagina right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Sean Sean yeah, gave up on off. How do you Sean gave up on uh, Team Governor and Team Shane, and now he's with Team Lizzie. He conceded yeah. on that, but he's the Tom. Speak speak to this, Sean. Are Sean... you really with Team Lizzie, or are you just trolling us? I... Team Lizzie is smart. Aww. <laughs> you can tell he doesn't believe it anymore. Listen. You, you realize now she's crazy, right, Sean? All right, all right. Liz, Lizzie saved Tyrese. No, she Lizzie didn't. has... Huh? How did she save Tyrese? She came with the gun. Uh, the gun. At, 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 when the prison got invaded. Oh, good call. All right. Fair enough. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I think she's logical. You know, is Rick going to kill her? Probably. You can't counter counteract uh, Rick due to uh, Rick killing you. Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Team Lizzie, Sean. Why are you on Team Lizzie? You have to be drunk to be on Team Lizzie. Because you can't cherry pick her saving Tyree. Think of all the stuff she's done. She's fed rats to the zombies. We're gonna know that's her. Sorry, spoilers. We're talking. I mean, it's heart. pretty obvious by now. Yeah. She's got a big heart, I think. She's the one that killed those two people. Hard on what? Tech, <laughs> even though they had the virus, and 
she tried to say she thinks killing babies is an okay thing to do even though they're alive and well so I don't, I don't know getting behind team Lizzie's like getting behind a new governor I just can't get behind that yeah well, in a zombie apocalypse you know if they're screaming babies I mean that'll get you killed I mean you got you gotta hold you gotta make them be quiet when you're out in the wilderness like that that's what I'm talking about if you that <laughs> oh, no. you want it you want it what about the oh. poor little rabbits that had nothing to do with anything right right psycho you know? moment. right that gives you a serious insight as to who she was and you know she's you know killing these little rabbits that are just hiding out from the other zombies and here they are with assassinated and she didn't even flinch she wasn't even looking at them she was in her zone killing Ugh. them looking straight ahead and and let's not forget she was naming the zombies that are at the at fence right she's giving them names and and playing with them essentially i mean she's she's not right up there i mean yeah she's gonna be the death Wait, of all of them uh, all right yeah. all right well, why didn't people think herschel was crazy whenever he wouldn't kill the zombies yeah but he got over that you know, yeah, and, and that Lizzie's just trying to be nice. No way. <laughs> Herschel had, uh, you know, he had a, a Christian faith crisis where he didn't know uh, what where he should draw the line between his faith and 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 dealing with reality. That was the whole thing, and he did, he felt he felt like if he if he killed those those creatures in there, that he would give up. He would be giving up hope. You know. Uh, and he couldn't he couldn't bring himself to to killing those people because he he still thought about their humanity, which brings us to a good point that someone uh, brought in, uh, brought up in the chat about you know you know do zombies keep their 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 humanity? Do they keep any of their thoughts from their previous life? And I think in The Walking Dead we've already established that no, they're they're mindless and there's nothing no. left behind in them. I mean, do yeah, you guys think well, they already well, established that in The Walking Dead that it's no, but yeah. Yeah, the CDC, when they went to the that thing, the doctor told them that there's just one little, basically, if you look at your head and think about it, right here, right in front, right be the bridge of your nose, right in your forehead is like a little flicker of light. That's the only thing on the brain. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, basically enough to make them walk and go, Ugh. Right, right. That's it. That's a good good catch. Also, good catch. I, I completely forgot about that. And also, too, in, um, I keep wanting to call it Walkerton, but what's uh, the governor's place again? Woodbury. Why do I keep Woodbury? I Walkerton. Why I Walkerton. <laughs> Question. Now, whoever can answer it will get the final thought of the day. All right. Whoever can answer this. Who, what skull were they looking at or what brain were they looking at in the CDC? Does anybody remember who was, whose it was? It was uh, the doctor's Residence? wife. Yeah, correct, Freeman Daddy. You're the I do want to go back very quickly because uh, in Walkerton, wherever the hell it's called, there was a scene <laughs> where they're trying, they're trying to cha train an old dude to like remember a piece of music right before he died. Yes, yep. And then he turned, and obviously it didn't work. So I think that was The Walking Dead saying, "No, they do not remember." Well, he also did not have enough time to to run further experiments. You know, that was only one subject that he had. Um, and he spent a lot of time with that one subject. And, so and that fail safe that the CDC does have, um, half of our government agencies have those fail safes. But what fail the the blowing up part? Or? Yes. Yeah. At a cat catastrophic event, uh, you know, and I'm going to say it, we'll get to this topic someday. Area 51, they have one because they have so much crap down there. You know, different diseases, strains, you know, aliens, ships, whatever they have down there exactly. If there were a catastrophic event, you think they want somebody getting into that? They're going to blow it up. Yeah. That's some Art Bell shit right there. No, I'm going to try to get into it. I just want to fly a spaceship. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm good. you like Will Smith. I love talking Area 51. All right. I got a fun question for you guys. All right. So, you know what? Uh, Glenn met up with Tara, who was also also stood behind in the prison, right? And this was in uh, also was it episode nine or ten? I, I've got them all mixed up now. I think it was ten. it was ten, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, there's some speculation that a Tara might go straight and maybe like you know hit on on Glenn if she's with him long enough. You know, what do you guys think? What do you think, Normie? 
<laughs> well, no, well, let, let, let's be honest. <laughs> there are question. people that are honestly, I, I honestly believe this. There's yeah. people that are homosexual because that's what they've always been. That's always what they identified with. And then there's people that yeah. go through a phase like experimentation. And she's oh, yeah, kind I, of I, an, I, in, I, she's an inexperienced girl. You could tell she's kind of clumsy and she's all talk. She's, whiny. she's annoying. I hate that character. <laughs> Yeah, well, she she's all she's all bark and you know no bite. But uh, I think I, I I can see some interesting things happening, Dick. Otherwise, she's gonna be a really bitter girl. And she's gonna be even more annoying. She's I think she needs to die. Any. She's not gonna add anything to the story. Sorry, unless she's she's like a love interest for somebody. But like, I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to do with her. I I just ugh. I think she's, she's getting noisy. she's I think she's getting a little better. She's getting less whiny. She's becoming a little more useful. She's taking a little more action. She's being a little more um, affirmative, I guess you could say. More more resolute in her actions. So, yeah. I don't know. I think her seeing Glenn's uh, resolve to find Maggie, no, and no matter how, how much the odds stack against them, it makes her realize that, that everybody needs something to fight for and, and needs to have that hope kept alive. And see, it comes back to hope, guys. It comes back to hope. It always comes back to hope, my friends. Always comes back to hope. Comes back to hope. Who's, who's got the echo going? That's Freeman. Free. I don't know. Is it me? That's, Wake up, Freeman! Freeman. I just realized Tongue I was talking, talking but phone. nobody was answering. I, no, no, no I, I hear the echo. No, that is you. I think, I think we're good. Echo. What, what, what did you say, Normie? Echo. That I was talking, but then no one was answering me, so I realized that I was still on mute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> But I do think, like Beth, and I can't remember this girl's name, but I think they are fillers, as Matt has said. So they can afford to lose somebody else that not as um, needed in the storytelling. Yeah, I feel like the They're Walking Dead need to position. soon. They're going to need to kill her. They're going to need to get rid of, not not need to maybe kill somebody, but something catastrophic is going to need to happen soon. Well, I think again, The Walking Dead as a... start getting boring and it's going to start being the same old show. Oh, we're running from zombies again. Yeah. Oh, right. we're going to do this, or oh, you know, whatever. They need to do something cool. I think it's painted itself in a corner a little bit because they're at people that it's going to be a really hard decision to kill. Mm -hmm. So I think every time there's a new character, I'm like, they're just adding this character so that we can invest in someone and they're going to kill him because they're not going to get rid of Glenn anytime soon. Glenn and Maggie, if they're going to kill him off, there's many better times to do it. Yeah. Isn't Glenn's the old guy that's freaking hard case for the... No, he's, he's Asian. Asian. His sister he's died. Asian, yeah. Oh, Glenn is the okay. Asian. Yes, young he's age. the young, the young kid. Glenn can't die. He's their front man. Yeah, man he's the he's guy good. that goes out, gets everything. He gets the, you know. Yep. He's very healthy. Healthy. Most healthy. of the main cast is dead now. So I mean, there's not really many left. Yeah. Who Rick? Well, they got Carl. The new, they got Abraham, Eugene, and Rosita now. What's what? I really want to hear the answers to the next question. So, <laughs> yes, and I got to take off in about twenty, Russ. All right, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, I think we can all we'll agree that to we're we're almost done with the main points, and then we'll we'll cap it off. But um, I think what the, the, I agree that uh, right now I think they should just uh, let us form some attachments to these characters and form a new core, because like Sean said. They've killed off the main cast that we've grown accustomed to. And if they start killing off more people, even if they're just these new people that we don't really care about, it's not going to really have the same effect. And it's just going to kind of be pure shock value, no real substance. So it'd be a wasted opportunity to not develop those characters further. And I think they will develop them further. Um, so anyway, another interesting thing happened on episodes uh, 9 through 11, season 4.5. Right? We have uh, Tyrese... Uh, uh, Carol saved uh, Tyrese and uh, the girls, uh, Lizzie, and I forget what her sister's name is, and Judith. And, um, spoiler alert. Yeah, spo spoiler. I should have said it earlier, guys. It's kind of a big deal. But So, yeah, Carol's still alive. <laughs> this whole show is a spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we went through that on Monday. <laughs> but anyways, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, yeah, spoiler. <laughs> Carol, who was on Exodus briefly, it wasn't even that long, really. She so finally meets up with Tyrese's group, and um, it's interesting because he's happy to see her, but you have to wonder what would happen if he found out about what Carol did back at the prison. And do you guys think that that could happen anytime soon, like maybe before they even get to Terminus, if they get to Terminus? 
And how do you think he'll react given the circumstances? I don't even want to answer that one. <laughs> yeah, anyone could chime in on this. I know there's a toughie. Sean, Sean, you, 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 you've been in, in and out. I think Sean's Sean, they're sleeping in this corner. Yeah, too. I think we got to get Sean engaged in this because he's like dipping out. Sean, Sean what's gonna, I'm here. What's I'm here. What's going to happen with, when Tyrese figures out what's going on with uh, Carol, if and when? That's a toughie. <laughs> yeah. All right, better question. Better question. Do you think he'll find out about it before they get to Terminus? Well, hold that? up, because this goes back to your other question, because Lizzie's the one that killed him. Carol yeah, covered him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think... I, I th Solely believe. Oh, you think Carol took the fall for what Lizzie did? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Lizzie stabbed him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Lizzie's the one that killed him. Yeah. Mm. She's the psycho, and Carol's trying to protect him, and that's why when Rick said you have to go, that's why she took it kind of okay, because she's like, yeah. That's what I got to do. She didn't fight it too much because she knew she'd give up Lizzie if she did. That's right. Actually, yeah, we didn't. I don't think we got to talk about that on, on this show. I know we talked about it before on some other stuff, but. Yeah, that's a good point to bring up that uh, all this stuff they've been doing to kind of foreshadow Lizzie being this crazy person and they're kind of tying, bringing that all together now and tying it all together. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't think they've spelled out, ver like, they didn't make it completely obvious that Lizzie was the one that burned uh, Tyrese's girlfriend and whoever, I forgot who the other body was in the courtyard. But I guess that, that, that that's definitely fits her M.O. Um, yeah. Hmm. But see, Carol would probably still keep up the the ruse because she doesn't want. She's protective of the kids. She's not. Yeah. She's not gonna let them get the heat for that. Tyrus yeah, wouldn't absolutely. like kill Lizzie though. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't face. totally agree with that. A crime of passion, <laughs> as they call it, right? I mean, yeah. I'm I'm trying to put myself in his shoes and how I would react to it, and I think that I wouldn't. I don't think I could take it out on the kid. I'd stay away from her. But I would probably have some serious issue with, with Carol for hiding it. Good call, yeah. So there's still some anger there. Some yeah. Resentment. Yes. Yeah. She'll be the scapegoat be regardless. Understanding. Consider. Yeah. You would yeah, be I mean, understanding? Yep. You think he's had enough time I mean, to come to terms with it? Look at Glenn. He, he, did, he got better. So... They didn't know that, you know, these two would die. Right. It they was a possibility. Be... But Glenn survived. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that fever, that, that flu that was going around was survivable. Uh, the chances, the probability of survival were pretty small. But, you know. Do you guys think Tyrese has had her long, long enough to kind of come to terms with everything? He seems like he cooled out, like he's leveled out a little bit now that he has a, a purpose. I don't, I don't think it'll blow up too much. I mean, there's probably going to be some tension. There's probably going to be some, you know, why did you do that? Blah 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 blah. But I really don't think there's going to be a, you know, you know, shooter in the head or anything. Hmm. Um, yeah. Probably not. I think what they're trying to do with the two girls is that they're trying to get him to to get like this this father kind of figure to them yeah. so that if he can relate to them as a father figure that it's going to be much easier for him to forgive and move on yep mm -hmm. and that's why carol's not gonna reveal what what lizzie did because he wants his heart to be softened and no one can get really mad at kids and i don't think even in the apocalypse it's really hard to get mad at a kid unless the kid is wearing a stupid hat and does stupid things <laughs> well, I'm I'm thinking that Lizzie might just give herself away. She might say something in conversation. Carol won't do it. So, yeah. probably. But Oof. she's so disconnected that she'll probably say it. She will probably have no qualms saying it. I'll kill that, being like I said, yeah. that being said, when do you guys think, if she'll do it, when do you guys think Liz will mess up and say something on accident? Before the end of the season. They can't yes. in like the next episode, episode or two. I mean, was it you know I one think of the so. last episodes? What, what do you guys think? Couple episodes. Next time we see them, I think it's going to happen. I think it's hmm. been building up for too long. Really? Sean, what do you think? Sean. Uh, Sean here. needs I'm his wake-up juice. No, no, I'm sitting here thinking. <laughs> it's about to fall asleep, I think. Yogi, what do you uh, think, man? No, we'll no, back, no, I'm come here. Come back, Sean. We'll come back to you. You can think. 
I think uh I think they could probably still let's see it's been well like yeah it's been a good well half a, more than half a season since those events took place well no yeah about six episodes or so seven episodes that stuff happened right so I think they can still build it up a little longer I think it's gonna happen whenever they get to terminus and then you know, it's going to cause a, a rift in the group. They're going to be like, oh, we can't have this drama here. You guys got to figure this out and get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. That is if Terminus is the sanctuary that seems cracked up to be. So, you know, that's still up for grabs. Because Terminus in itself is uh, creative liberty. They're taking uh, really, they're going completely, they're completely deviating from the comics. Uh, as far as I know, from what little knowledge I do, right, Matt? The Terminus mm-hmm. is not a thing in the comics. Uh, it- it could be. I, I I think I know where they're going, and it could be something pretty hardcore. Okay. They could be jumping ahead a lot. Okay. But okay. you got to remember yeah. too, though, every place they've gone to, there's been nothing there. You know, uh, yeah. starting with it's been empty you know, promises. CDC. Yeah. Then you're going to the um, the the prison. Um, the and farm. Then a, the, the farm. Well, the farm that was where they're you know just him and his daughters. You know, just kind of holding out, uh, yeah. just like uh, when, uh, uh, damn it, Carl got shot by the deer. Uh, I mean, um, right. by the hunter. He's just trying to get some food, but you know, that's uh, he's a really terrible hunter. My my eyes, but <laughs> it happens. Uh, I think I, shit happens. They could have they could have made the the prison and the farm work, but it came down to stupid human nature. That's really what it came down to. If everybody had their, their, their shit together, they would have been fine. But so anyway, a fun fun thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but did you notice that that Maggie is apparently uh, bulletproof? <laughs> which, which scene in particular no, are you talking so? about? Yeah, yeah. Which scene? Well, the, as far as episodes nine through eleven go, in episode uh, ten, I think it was when she uh, explored the bus. Remember. Oh, yeah. The what's oh, his yeah. face shot the, the zombie is right behind her. You know they're standing right in front of her, and they shot the zombie right behind her. It's like what did the bullet go through her and hit the zombie? <laughs> That's... Actually, no, no. The zo- it went through the zombie, and it should have got. It was an Maybe. exit wound in the in the zombie. It should have gone through the zombie and hit her. There's a lot of yeah, point but when I look when I looked at that scene before, because I remember that she was actually off to the side and not directly behind the zombie. <laughs> Yeah, but you know there was an the exit wound on the. Uh, there was a zom- uh, an exit wound on the zombie. She was right behind the zombie. The way it looked. She was off to the side of the zombie, though. Was she? she uh, wasn't directly behind him. For a quick second, it, lo- it, it looked like she was in a line of fire. I'm like, okay, because, bulletproof well, baggie. I, <laughs> I read it a couple times because I've actually I was like, what, did she did she just get shot in the face and she didn't die? <laughs> right. I no, think they I set it up like that to make you think for a second, like, no. <laughs> There's a there's been a few scenes though where someone's about to get eaten and then like someone like from behind shoots the zombie in the head. Yeah, there's been a bunch of that. Considering the zombie heads are like you can squ- you can step on them lightly and they break in the yep. show. You'd want to stay away from that, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to full, full form a full circle around your targets and end up shooting each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not the optimal formation. <laughs> That'd be Darwin at its finest, just taking care. Okay, here's one for you, uh, if Freeman. Um, yeah. What do you What are you thinking, man? Dude, we we lay some heavy stuff here. Sounds like man, yeah. you guys are going deep. I think he's hitting his own hookah pipe. No, no, no. no, no. I, I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking. Yeah, I really don't know where The Walking Dead's gonna go. You know, you got you got the so many people on the railroad tracks. They're split up. But. It, it's, I'm curious to see where it goes. Yeah. Well, we talked about this last last I, I last time. Think. We said we said that the show has at least you know. Well, Sean felt like it has uh, unlimited possibilities. Matt said it. They have a good solid season left. Uh, Obi said they have maybe two or three. And I'm oh. ki- I'm kind of in the middle. I think I think I think they they have, they have a lot of a lot to work with and they're setting up a lot of stuff. I think they have a a, a solid two seasons left. But they definitely got to build up the characters, you know, a little more for for stuff to make sense and matter. Right. Well, and then I'm gonna no, I'm gonna change a little bit of what I'm saying too. I, I think um, they can make any story. 
because I, I I I said that last week because I hadn't watched. I mean, I was only up to like episode ten. So that being said, from last week to this week, I think they have plenty of directions and opportunities that they can go in. Mm-hmm. Do I see them doing most of them? No, because then that would just totally somewhat off throw off track the show. Now there are several that I think, and I, we can get it on this offline, but several I think that they can different directions that they can go in that they haven't even touched or even talked about yet. So I, yeah, I think there's quite a few directions that can go in. There's a few themes they can hit on. Normie, you weren't here last week. What do you think? It's about real life. Um, for me. as far as solid seasons, I would, I, I agree with Yogi. I don't think. I think anything more than two seasons from now would be too much. Just because it at least this season so far is seeming a little on the dry end. So and I am not a I'm not a comic or a graphic uh, novel reader of The Walking Dead. So I don't know where they have twisted and turned there that they could add, but I would think maybe two more seasons. And then, you know, it would be time to say goodbye. Or at least spin it off or at least spin it off into out, a different show. Ah, right. Or, exactly. spin Good. Off, <laughs> or spin it off into a different show to where like just one or two of the characters went from The Walking Dead to, you know, I don't know, Zombie well, 2020 or whatever we you want to call it. We were watching webisodes, and I liked how they were showing us a little different story. Um, mm-hmm. But it was like Eric, Eric, Rick was not even involved. And but mm-hmm. like towards the end of one of the webisodes, you know, they had written a sign on on one of the doors at the hospital which you later well where you first saw rick at the beginning of the Mm -hmm. whole thing so i thought that that was a really good idea and if you know they take that direction you know that would be something i'd really like to watch because it might be same the repeat same repeat stories you know with finding safe havens in different places but now you get to learn new people and create this um I don't know, like, create this this family, I guess, you know, a whole new family of, of The Walking Dead. So that would be pretty neat. I don't know if I could watch something in the future, though. Um, you know, the same old, same old kind of thing, if that makes sense. Okay, well, but, but, but think about it. The same old, same old type stuff, right? And then you got to, you know, you might get a little tired of it. Imagine The Walking Dead gone. I mean, we're not going to get another thing like it. Yeah. We're not going to get the goodness of it. So for me, you know, for not liking it all the time, I would rather have it around for five or six more seasons. That's where the spinoff shows come out, right? Yes. That's what this. Yeah. That's that. That's the segue that that actually Obi set up. Uh, they had they had confirmed that they do have the spinoff show coming in 2015. So it's going to probably run alongside season five or in between the seasons. So that that'd be interesting. And I think it's still in early development, as far as I've seen. Like they still. Right. Have uh they they haven't released too much about what's gonna happen other than that they're gonna be following a completely different group of people. What what you got on that, Obi? Um, that's gonna be with this being a winter, uh, series, or a spring series. You know, spring and then fall or whatever. However they do it, that's gonna be the opposite of what this one is. So it's actually gonna go to a spring from a spring series to like a fall series or a winter series. That'd be so good. It's gonna be in a different part of the year. It'll fill in um, the gap. And what you yeah. said, I I was. I read all that. I'll give you guys the website here when I can find it again. Um, but a lot of the spinoffs, what they're going to do actually is they're actually, like you said, they're going to follow a whole other group of people. And something that they're trying to do with The Walking Dead is to be able to spin it off to where maybe here soon that this group meets that new group and then they go off in their separate ways or they walk together a little bit or, you know. Mm-hmm. Something of that effect, but it's not going to be, uh, from what I hear, it's not going to be, it's basically just going to be exactly what we have now, but it's basically a different name and a different cast. All right, well, I know that uh, Norma and Matt have to leave us soon, so we'll wrap up this discussion. Uh, Sean, are you going to stay with us? Uh, actually, you can do it. Sh- it's Sean time. works an entire day. <laughs> I don't. I. I yeah, you guys, well, you I gotta in, stay. I went in at stay five a.m. on time tonight, man. Aww. Sorry. You have to be properly caffeinated for for horseplay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I realized that tonight. <laughs> well, all right. So, um, 
the last thing I wanted to say, well, I don't know if we'll have enough to t time to talk about this. So we'll just say, uh, if, if you guys are interested, anybody listening in or, t or watching the video, uh, if you want to read more about this kind of stuff and keep this, the conversation going, uh, definitely be check out our friends over at the Zombie Blog and at ZombieCast. Uh, those websites are thezombieblog.net and zombiecast.net. And um, we'll do some uh, more plugs here okay, before the guys leave. But uh, definitely check those websites out. And we'll also have some more zombie content to keep the uh, Zombie Talk series going uh, over at uh, geekyantics.wordpress.com. So, uh, guys, you gotta before you leave, you want to plug anything? And then uh, uh, Obi and I... Uh, are we going to wrap up the show after this, uh, yeah. Obi? Okay. I want to I plug Matt. <laughs> so oh let's go on to our plugs. Pl I was going to say I want to plug Obi. Bend over, so Matt. Bend Freeman, over. what you got today, man? Give me your plugs for your shows. Uh, uh, me and Norma do a show called Knuckleballer Radio, which is live 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern every Sunday night at allgames.com forward slash chat. And then uh, we do zombiecast.net, the three of us, and then at, you know Ted can add it in. And zombiecast, you know, we, we got some uh, good recent shows. You know, uh, we had a chance to talk to Great Nicotero, Stephen Young, which is Glenn on the show. Uh, we've had the 68 Comic Crew on, uh, Nat Jones. Uh, Norma's friend, you know, the, the director for uh, the Blur Witch Project. Tons of good content. Yep. Yep. Ed Sanchez. And uh, Dave oh, Fenoy <laughs> from the Telltale uh, Games, The Walking Dead, which got Game of the Year last year, was just on a couple weeks ago. And Matt Moat from the Zombie Research Society. So we've had a lot of good guests over there. you got a lot of good content. But give the zombie cast a chance. Guys, go over there and listen to it. Zombiecast.net. All right. You guys, Absolutely. make sure you guys check that out, uh, zombiecast.net. Uh, they do uh, run that show on Mondays at 9 Eastern Standard? Uh, 8 p.m. Yeah. 8, 8 p.m. Yeah. Eastern Ted, Standard. And oh, we've and been growing, guys... man. A lot of people has been lo liking it lately. So, uh, you know, we're feeling good about it. Just go give us a chance, zombiecast.net. Very, very. Matt, what about you? <laughs> Uh, ditto what Sean said about ZombieCast. Uh, Tuesday nights on VGO until they kick me off or I quit, which is coming to a, <laughs> coming to a head fairly soon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, you can read my stuff at GamesRadar.com and uh, in trade magazines across Canada. And Matt, Guinness Book of World Records. And Matt, we're going to yeah, campaign. World Records, that's right. Matt, we're going to campaign to keep you on VGO, because that's one of the few reasons I listen to him. And Michelle, Michelle's nice. I don't even know if this point is that something I want people to campaign for. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you have fans. You have fans on, on, yes, uh, on VGO. I do, and I love them all. So they can come to Zombie Cast, and they'll be, we'll amalgamate. There you go. Definitely. We'll go ahead, Yogi. Uh, go ahead and plug our, uh, our stuff. We are on... Yes, yeah, so Horse Play is on, uh, on Stitcher, and... Uh, the heck did I, I thought I updated this. And we're working on getting on iTunes, but they've been having trouble on their system. I'm getting some weird errors, so we're trying to work that out. Uh, but be sure to leave us some reviews, favorite, subscribe. We're on TalkShoe if you're a podcaster and you have your show on there. Make sure you leave us a review on there. And give us a thumbs up on uh, Stitcher. You could do unlimited. A lot of people don't know, but you could do unlimited thumbs up per episode on Stitcher. And they count. That's how you show up. I mean, some people game it, unfortunately. But, you know, if you genuinely like what you listen to, thumbs up as much as you want, you know, and, and it helps us get up on um, on the search results. I, th I forget what category we were on. We've moved around. I think we were on technology, then we were in gaming or ent yeah, entertainment or, or, com or comedy. Because <laughs> we got a little bit of everything going on. But, uh, yeah, the more listeners we got, the more support we got. What's that? We got a plethora of things going on. A whole, a whole plethora. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> But, but but more listeners mean we can run more promotion. I got a buttload of games that I want to give away uh, soon uh, to help cool. spread spread the word. Uh, so stay tuned oh. for that. My steam my steam inventory looks pretty bloated right now. <laughs> oh. And we'll be doing some uh, community playdates too, like just gaming on random stuff like Rock Band or any anything. Nice. This is fun. So we're we'll doing that too. Uh, royalty free music is on on our show. It's provided by Technowax with a K on YouTube. So if you want to avoid uh, Google's beat stick and you want to put some music on your video content or whatever, you know you don't want to pay royalties. You know, make sure you check that out. 
What else we got? Uh, skip that. Just make sure you guys uh, check out our friends. And um, he's probably, Yogi probably said a few of these, but we want to make sure you guys check out our friends at Gaming History 101. Sega Nerds, the Thanks. game of the shrew. Gaming of the shrew, formerly Sega Addicts. RPG. Like RP Grinders. R9 Cast. Knuckleballer Radio. Zombie Yo. Cast. And B Team Podcast on all games network. And Stitcher, and or Stitcher. You guys uh, rock. These you are, have a good uh, yes, show going on awesome. here, by the these way. These are a yeah, ton yeah. Of, of great podcasts. If you guys do enjoy ours, you will definitely enjoy theirs. I promise you. Um, and you guys just make sure you guys check us out at Gang, um, including the Zombie Cast, uh, the Zombie Blog, and say that word. Casturbarus. Casturbarus. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we do on our site. If you know, we we give a lot of love on our on our on our network. It's basically what we do. We see content that we like. We reblog it, and we get proper credit so people go to your site. To, they'll drive traffic to you. I'm not one of those people. When I develop a website, I don't feel like, oh, don't give your traffic away. If I see something I like, I, I give love to that site because I know someone would do the same thing if they have integrity. <laughs> and the last thing that we do want to say from. Uh, Obi-Wan X2 and Yogi Zilla um, and everybody here uh, the Horse Play, Horse Play family we do really really appreciate everybody's response and just overwhelming support for uh, our show and uh, from the bottom of my heart I'm, I'm just a disabled vet so I don't really get to do much but I really really appreciate it guys I enjoy doing this every single week sometimes we're sick sometimes we're just having a bad day but with everybody helping us out staying up late we just want to appreciate. We really appreciate everybody and anybody that's listening and or watching. So, hey, dude, with that being thank, said, I want to thank you for your service. Thank yeah, you, man. sir. Absolutely. I'm Canadian, but I'll thank you because that's brave, man. That's that's awesome. Yeah, man. But anyway, with that being said, <laughs> you protect us, said, kind guys. Of, don't you? <laughs> with that being said, we're gonna close this season. Well, this season. <laughs> uh, we're gonna close this episode, Knights of the Zombie Geeks, part two. There could be a part three in the makings here in the future. I think so. I think I'm yeah. pretty sure we're gonna just series this out. So and we, and we made it. We made it through our Walking Dead segment. That's that's important. Yeah. It's a milestone. Thanks, guys. We just want to make sure that you guys. Uh... Go ahead. Matt. Go ahead, Matt. I took great effort not to tr derail this time, so you know you I'd like it. to take that as a victory for myself. Um, <laughs> I'd like to take uh, full credit for not derailing this time around, and uh, again, just a. Uh, Reflecting what Sean and Normia said, you guys are awesome. It's been a fun time. I think that's why yeah. there is because um, you don't get that when you have a, a no no chemistry or you're not having a good time. No. Exactly. So, there you go. But that's it from Horseplay. This is Obi One X Two along with Yogi Zilla, Freeman Daddy Five, Normie Four Seven Seven, and Matto McFly. You got we'll it see right. you guys next time. Have a plethora of a good day, guys. I love you guys. A whole plethora. For a lawful carnal knowledge. Did you see my uh, Doctor Who there? I did this for you, Yogi. See? Oh, awesome! Doctor, it's Christmas Doctor Who. By, by the way, late late plug. We're 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 gonna do a little special episode. I think so. Doctor, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Exit music. I dropped my Indiana Jones Lego in the water. Oh no, he can't swim. Just don't put him next to snakes. Music, music, song. Got to hold. Oops. Once again, everybody, from listening and watching here, Horseplay, this is episode 11. We really appreciate you watching and listening. We'll see you guys next week. We're out. Yay! Awesome. Woohoo! <laughs> right, yes, that's like my cue <laughs> off button. Thanks again, guys. But Absolutely. I do want to say this. I was about to hit my, bump my keyboard a while ago. What was that, Obi? I do want to say this, though. I, I, I do mean it. I do really appreciate all of you guys. Um, by any means, by all means, uh, if I can make it on any of your podcast nights for other shows, um, I will definitely Absolutely. I would definitely love to. Uh, yeah, Matt, sure. uh, yeah. sometime this week, I would love to uh, sit down and I would like to talk to you about some things. Sure. Um, Sounds deep. Possibility though. for you, actually. So, um, 
but uh, we'll get together sometime and maybe talk a little bit. Um, Ogie, What's you your too? real first name, though? I James. Think. Okay. <laughs> Is that all right if I know your first name? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, Sean, again, <laughs> Freeman, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you yeah. hanging out and just uh, giving us props and retweeting everything. We really appreciate it. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, before you go real quick, one of the things I want to I wanna do, I definitely want to collaborate with you guys some more. Especially you, Matt, because I know you, you're looking to branch out some more. And what I would love to do... Yes, you do. And I know that. And I'm, I, sl I'm trying to slow my life down, buddy. Not <laughs> Yeah, right. Stop it. You were, you were hustling, man. You were hustling. You were pimping. No, but... Uh, He's a hustler, baby. What I, what I was thinking about... I, I talked about his Obi. Poor Yogi. I have to go. Oh, so anyway... So, yeah. Real. What we're gonna probably end up doing is like doing special recording, like bonus episodes that would just like not like you know unnumbered episodes, but they'll they'll be like named, like so we could record them whatever time that we could all agree on. Like we could do a Doctor Who episode, you Doctor know what I'm saying? Or Doctor you Who series. Who. Well, see, I don't think Obi will go for it, so I yes. think I'm that might be. One still, but I'm getting there. Wow. Wow. I gotta duck out. Okay. okay, we'll see you all later. Bye. See you, I'll talk later. Bye, Bye Norma. Okay. Thank you again. It was a blast. Good night. Thanks again. Good night. Thank okay. you. See ya. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye. Matt, two left, two. Yeah, Matt, Matt's quick. He's like, joing. Hey, Yogi, I'm going to call you back. Yeah, I got I to gotta go piss anyway. I gotta, I'm going to have a smoke. I'll be, I'll be back. Well, uh, just, this will only take like two seconds, literally. I just want to get out of this chant, this call. Oh, right, yeah, but let me go. Let me go piss real quick. Yo, hold on, I gotta, I gotta piss like a racehorse right now. Yeah, go, go to the bathroom, dude. Um, it's kind of, it's something I'm just gonna get this off. All right, hold on. <laughs>